that they uh, bring us, you will create something absolutely sensational. There is nothing like a dream to create the future. I love that. Unless it were my dream last night, which were wrong. It was just so weird, so weird. Can't tell you any of it, but it were really weird. Not rude, just weird. Um, so, oh, mate. You know, when, you know when you look at things just before you go to sleep and then they infiltrate your mind? Whoo, that were weird. Anyway, I did tell our Emily in my head. Um, so look at these. I love these. These are all beautiful little tags, but they're double sided. So it means if you are using them as tags, um, you can obviously put all your journaling on that side. And I love that. I love that you can use them as physical tags. Um, the detail in all the papers is exquisite. You start looking into the papers, you start pulling elements out of the paper. That page is ace because you've got tons and tons of clocks on there. Love it when I say that word properly. Um, and yeah, it's absolutely exquisite. Now, coming from Stamperi, which of course is in the incredible Budapest, uh, so it does mean that they're going to be dispatched from the 23rd. Now, I created, I only got a chance to create one page with this, but I just think they're amazing for, for your, your pages. I've used my beautiful, sorry, I'm opening that up so you can see the, the black. I've used uh, one of our Pink Pig books, and it's your 12 by 12 books. I think they just look so good for your, your 12 by 12 now, I've obviously used a stencil and waxes, but then the lovely papers. And because these are double-sided, you kind of have to use them as tags, don't you? You know, if you don't, it's it's almost rude. And then I wanted to use this as an actual page turner, just because I think it looks exquisite. Love it, absolutely love it. Okay, it's really busy. If you do want to get hold of this, already 10% of the stock has gone. It is beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so that's your first one. 744850 is your item number. Next, uh, we have got for you now around the world. Oh, this is another one. It's just gorgeous. Now, you've got your 12 by 12 and your 8 by 8 here. And they're not exactly the same, which is really interesting because normally, I don't think anywhere. Hold on, I am going to double check myself. No, they're not. They're not exactly, exactly the same, which is great because you get the bundle. You're getting both of these. I love that you're getting both of them because, again, you've got your tags and it is indeed around the world. So you've got loads of beautiful places there. Those wonderful old worldy maps, all the gorgeous old letters there and the old postcards, which, again, are double-sided so you can use them for your journaling. I mean, the imagery is wonderful, isn't it? Because you've got that beautiful collage. Stamperia, no. Oh, it is. It is the same as your big one. Sorry, I didn't think that was in the big one. Um, it is doubled. Um, the same. But that's perfect because, again, you can do so much with it. Look at that vintage world map. I just, just love that. Stamperia know how to do collage. They know how to create uh, beautiful images that flow. You know, I've said this before, say it again. Um, none of the, the papers, none of them don't make sense. You know, everything there works. The colour palette works. I mean, it's just beautiful. You might be over stamping this. You might just be cutting it out and creating beautiful, beautiful books with it. Um, again, absolutely exquisite, but you only get one page per design, which means having an 8x8 is really cool because obviously you have got that, that sort of second uh, book there. Now, £18.98 is your price for both of those. I have been playing with this. What I love about this, look, you've got that little postcard and the little postcard, I'll just do that so I can show you. The little postcard, you make it up, the little envelope, and it does mean your lovely little postcards will fit in it, which I absolutely adore. And what I've done with this one, because we have got the next one, we've got uh, tags and we've got some uh, beautiful rice paper. So I've been making these, these with them. So I'm going to create a little tag book. So you've got your gorgeous rice paper, but I've mixed and matched it with my papers. And actually, I have used my papers from this, and I've used it from the other one as well, the other 12 by 12. So I've really mixed and matched everything. But see, what I'm going to do, because they've got the, the punch there, so I've already punched my little tag 
book as well, my little wallet um, envelope, then that means I can create my beautiful little tag book. And I just thought that would be ace, because I want it to hang sort of like that. Doesn't that look ace? Can you imagine that when it's finished? How beautiful will that be? Um, OK, if you do want that, £18.98. Um, again, brilliant prices. That is 039446. Next. Now, oh, these rice papers are divine. Again, if you can get more than one, I would definitely, definitely uh, suggest you do. They're only 9 97 I would definitely multiply this. The rice papers are beautiful. You've got the papers that will match both your collections. Again, the detail is superb. Isn't that pretty? You could cut those out if you want, or of course use them on the tags, which I'm absolutely going to do uh, for the demonstration. And you can start breaking that up if you want to. The tags are lovely. Then, of course, that's what I've been creating here. You do get four tags, the heavyweight tags, and of course you've got that proper eyelet in there as well, which means if you are creating um, a lovely tag book, I mean, it just looks so professional, doesn't it? really chuffed with these. I had a lovely day today. I've been prepping today and I've just had such a lovely day creating these. You know when it just works and everything, you love everything? I just adore them. Um, and rice paper is, uh, if you haven't used rice paper yet, it's wonderful because it's that fluid, it's that soft, it'll go around anything. So you can put it on glass, you can put it on fabric as long as you use the right adhesive. It's just such a good product. And as ever, Stamperia, it's quality. I mean, look at that imagery. Now, only 9 97 for those. That is 532547. OK, now, the mediums. Um, Stamperia are famous for the mediums, um, and they just bring us some beautiful mediums. Now, this stuff is lovely. So when you actually get it, and it's a really nice... Hold on. Oh. Why can't I open this one? I've got one over there. Um, I've got it now. I've got it now. So, um, so when you open it, keep that lid because that will obviously keep it airtight. But can you see the colour? But look at how thick this is. This is thick stuff, which means this glamour paste you can use for all sorts. This will go on glass. You can obviously use it for stenciling. Uh, you can water it down, use it for a wonderful... Um, Wonderful sort of glazers, which looks absolutely stunning. Have a look at that. Look at that colour. Ain't it gorgeous? This is beautiful. You are getting big tubs of this as well. Uh, but, yeah, it's exquisite. Now, the samples I've brought, I've brought a bit of everything because not only with this, not only can you put it on glass, so that's on glass, which I think you'll agree looks absolutely amazing. Beautiful. That's mixing the colours together. These are on glass, different colour, but again, on your glass. It'll go on wood, of course. I've used it with the blue because we've had uh, these on before, but how beautiful. But you can put it in your mould because you can create a skin with this. And look at that. It gives you the most beautiful finish. I mean, that has got, look, it's not cracking. It's flexible. How gorgeous is that? And, I mean, the detail is just incredible. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love, love, love this stuff. And, and this is interesting because I've actually used it here as well. Can you see this? I've used it to wrap around my tag. And it gives you a really nice finish. I've used it here as well. So it gives you, look, it's still flexible. How cool is that? I love this stuff. It's ace. Um, OK, if you would like to get hold of this now, only £13.98. We have seen it before, but not in the... You know, it's different configuration with your colours. If you have got this before, I would love to hear from you, and I would love to see what you've done with it, because we've had it on, and it is sold out in the past. Now, um, that is 531-979, your item number. Now, something else that sells out in... Um, that has sold out in the past is the clay. Obviously, we've got our Catherine in the building, so our Catherine knows all about air dry clay. Um, this is fabulous. Now, new item number for this one. You are getting two packs of your air dry clay. And this one, this one isn't um, a stretchy clay. You know why sometimes when Catherine uses her, she's got a stretch clay. This isn't. Um, 
It hasn't got stretch in it. What you will get, however, is serious detail, and it's still light as a feather. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. You can really capture detail, and then, of course, you can paint it. And it means if you're doing big uh, projects, then it's going to be really light, so you'll still be able to put it on um, your cards, which is amazing. Really, really nice stuff and ridiculously easy to use. Only £10.99 is your price. That is 842093. Now, it's something that sells out again and again and again because it's just such a cool product. This stuff is amazing. When you actually use it, it looks like uh, shaving cream. It's really, really soft and fluid. But when you put it in your moulds, look at this for flexibility. It's that one. It's that one. So it means you can go around tubs. I've put it around the tub and painted it. And doesn't that look beautiful? And not a problem. I mean, it'll easily wrap around anything. It really, again, it captures detail. Honestly, this has sold out so many times in the past because it is such an incredible product. If you want to get hold of that for £15.98, again, if you've got that in the past, I'd love to see what you've done with it. You know, email in. I always love for and um, 585609 is your item number. Now, one more. Somewhere else that's sold out over and over again. Um, but we have got it back. This is such good glue. Do you know what? I use this a lot now because with this, and I'll show you when we get to the, the counter, but it doesn't look like anything's in the pot. You know what I mean? It's that crystal clear. It's ridiculous. And it's a kind of glue. For instance, when I'm using this with rice paper, it's beautiful for your rice paper. It dries absolutely matte. Like, for instance, I've used it with my tags. Now, look at that. That rice paper doesn't look like any glues on there, does it? You have no sheen with this. Honestly, it's the, the mattest glue I've ever used. It's really good. But the other really good thing about this, like when I'm using my rice paper, I put it on my glass mat, put the glue on, so I've got glue everywhere. But it doesn't sort of give you that horrible sort of gluey, sheeny thing. You know when, when you get glue absolutely everywhere and you've got them horrible sort of, it almost looks like slug trails all over the place. It absolutely doesn't do that. It's brilliant for your scrapbooking. It's brilliant for your, your paper crafts. Really good glue is that one. Um, 8482... 820425 is your item number. £15.98 is your price. Now, Freedom members, um, if that is you, you're not paying any postage. You're also getting other goodies, of course. You are getting your um, your badge, you get your monthly newsletter, you get exclusive discounts, but you could not pay any postage. It's all in there. So please make sure you check your baskets out um, and become a Freedom member. Um, if you've got any questions, email lanestudio at achanda.com. But as I said, I want to see your photographs. I love, love seeing what you have been doing. Uh, we have got a few. Thank you ever so much. Oh, Halle. Oh, Halle. <laughs> Holly is on it. She's going to... Um, we have to... Holly has to do something magic. Uh, but we will show you those in a few moments' time. Right, I'm going to crack on because I wanted to decorate um, one of the tags. Obviously, with rice paper. I mean, we've got two beautiful rice papers. It is difficult to choose because I love them both. I mean, they're both absolutely exquisite. I'm going to go for that one first because, um, because I love it. And I'm going to change it from the one I've done because, sorry, everything's blowing away with that. If I put that there... Can you still see air conditioning? And then it's always straight here. Um, so I'm going to change it from the one I did. So when I, because I do want to finish this, I want to make it into something. So obviously, um, I want it to be different. Otherwise, it's the same. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> and I don't want that. So, okay, let's have a see. So I want to, first of all, design where I'm putting it. So maybe if I have it here, or maybe have it here. You know what I mean? Because you start looking at your imagery. What do you want on this? I do want the bicycle. I'm very aware, however, I'm definitely going to be covering most of the bicycle up. So I'm going to have... I'm going to have it there, so I get most of the bicycle. Now, I kind of like that image, so I'm actually going to cut that out because it means I will, in fact, I'll cut it out, but I will cut it out with my... Um, 
with my water brush. The reason I'm taking it out with my water brush is then I've got those frayed edges. If I've got frayed edges, it means it will blend easier, which is superb. So, just pulling out that like so. And then, now, I'm going to have that about there okay again frayed edges so because i know where i'm going to take this where the bottom is going to be so it's going to be about there so i'm going to take my water brush and again just run along the bottom there okay okay like that which is perfect now the other thing because i know again i'm going to be coming up the edges the sides with this frayed edges so I'm going to take those. Those are the only little bits I don't really use. I do actually get rid of some of the bits. Not much, just those teeny tiny bits. The rest of the rice paper I absolutely keep because you use every, apart from those teeny little bits, you use every piece of rice paper. I mean, it's just stunning. Look at the layers. It's so good. I love Stampier rice paper. Okay, Kalal. Now, this is such good glue, uh, the collar gel. It's amazing. And this is really, really busy. This is what I mean. Now, look, when you look in that pot, it don't look like anything's in it. It's super clear. Isn't that fabulous? It's like, it's empty, but it isn't. It's such good glue. So what I'm going to do, first of all, just get a little old brush and then just cover it. A, it's A, 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 it's well busy. Um, it is really busy. If you do want your glue, please check your baskets out. Absolutely fine. Half of the stock has gone. Now, I'm not putting anything on the, um, the tags. What I love about these tags, because they're a white base, I don't need to, to coat them or paint them. And I really like that because I can work directly on. So working directly on there, I'm then going to, again, I know where I'm going along the top of here. So I'm just going to take off the top of the rice paper off that tag. I'm only going to rip this little bit. Now, there are cues on the phones. If you want to get on that website, please do. Do not miss any of these prices. Remember, we've got an hour. That is it with your beautiful stamp area. Okay, so again, just popping all the glue. And do you know what? Again, with this, it doesn't matter if I get glue where I don't want it because it's not going to mark. It just dries absolutely a crystal clear, but also um, not uh, shiny. It is, it is one of my now, for anything like this, it is absolutely my favourite adhesive. It's, it's become one of those that um, it's, a, it's a bit of a turn to, is this one now? Okay, so again, just taking this off. So with your right, with your um, water brush, just going round like so. And again, it's putting things down because that's stupid air conditioning. Okay, maybe it'd be better if we could we switch the aircon maybe to the other one. Maybe so I don't blow my rice paper away. Um, okay, so now what I'm doing is pulling this over like so and i love it because it actually can you see what you do straight away you start neating in it and it's ridiculously easy because it does mean no faff you've actually created a really beautiful base and with it being a white tag you'd know you know it looks really bright and gorgeous underneath now filling in gaps so you've got gaps here that i want to fill in i've got gaps here that's the lovely thing with rice paper because all your little scraps you end up using your scraps so here just tearing some of those so have a little look what you're gonna fit now Oh, we've got extra white tags. So when you're checking out your basket, um, in fact, there you go, only five nine nine. Highly, definitely get this because if you're making your own little tag book like I definitely want to, um, these are the same white tags. So yeah, definitely get those. That is while you're checking out your basket, only five nine nine. Obviously, we don't limit it to one per person. So please make sure those are in your basket. Okay, and then just 
glue in these little bits. Now, this is the other thing about rice paper. And I'm not cut that one because I like the, the straight edge on that. You just layer and look how good it looks. Because it's already um because it's already got that beautiful sort of uh collage look to it, when you just layer bits on top, it fits in. It doesn't look like it you know, like it doesn't belong. Look, oh gosh, rice paper is one of my favourites. It's just so good. Now, I know we've got some photographs. Shall we show photos? Well, I'm just a little gluey. Um, thank you ever so much, everyone. I always love hearing from you. Studio at achanda.com if you do want to send some more photos in. Uh, but we have got a couple. We are going to show those in a second. Okay, again, just tearing that. Oh, we got photos. Right, okay. Who's this from? Ian! Ian, I love that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, that is a mix of uh, wonderful Stampiri and some Mad Hatters there as well. Amazing. Ian, thank you. Now, the next one, this is from Tina. Oh, wow. I love that. That looks amazing. That is some Stampiri, the mechanical sea world. Is that a lamp? That looks like a lamp, doesn't it? God, that's, that is absolutely fabulous Sish is a bit obsessed um oh i love that that is beautiful look at your oh you've nailed getting rusty looks haven't you that is beautiful oh keep sharing love 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 seeing you mate studio at achanda.com okay so i filled in enough but what I want to do next is, she says, I've filled in enough, she says, keep him filling in. And this scraps, all your little scraps, absolutely fabulous. See, so you just rip a bit off, fill in. Perfect. And I'll just put it like that. The other thing with this glue, look, you can really play. You know, you haven't got to worry about it drying too quickly or, you know, being too... Um, too worried about it it's sticking and you're not having chance to to fix something when you've done it wrong okay perfect now this is the other cool thing because um so you know our beautiful glamour paste so i'll pop that aside for one second now with your wonderful glamour paste what i did i used a little old sheet now I must admit, I'd have been better using um, like something like this, you know, like a silicone sheet, or actually just a piece of plastic, uh, because this were a bit tricky. I thought it'd peel off this absolutely easy. It didn't, <laughs> truth be known. But that's okay, because it led me to do something else. So the way I had to get it off this, because look, it had kind of dried to it. So the way I had to get it off was crack it, which is no mean feat, actually, because it doesn't want to crack. So, with th this one is the toughest one. The other ones were a bit easier. But I left the toughest one for live TV, which wasn't a good idea. I'm not going to faff with this because I'm not going to have time. But anyway, so don't do it on this is the top tip. <laughs> Unless you can crack it. So do it on a normal piece of plastic. This is, and I can't remember what it's called, but it does peel off. Look, when you get underneath it, you can peel it off. Okay, now look at that. Once you've peeled it off, look how flexible it is. Isn't it cool? So imagine what you can do with this. Because you've got texture, you've got that beautiful sheen, but, but you've also got, of course, that stability. I mean, it's really interesting stuff, is this? And I mean, it starts, I mean, it does uncurl, but if you glue it, that will hold its shape. It's really cool stuff, considering you can use it for so many things. You know, yes, you can use it through your stencils, you can use it with your, your moulds, your flexible moulds, but to be able to make skins out of it, I thought was really cool. So that's what I'm going to use. So I've got my lovely skins, and I know it sounds minging saying skins, but that's effectively what it is. So... I'm taking my beautiful, um, my, my tag, and now it's just deciding where I want it to go. So I, I do like, I want to see the front of the, oh, I'm going to put it up here this time, actually. There. So I want it to wrap round, and look, it'll wrap round beautifully. But what I do like with this is the fact I can put my rice paper on top of it. So if I just take a strip of my rice paper... 
and I'm just going to rip. I'm not going to be too precious. What I am doing, though, again, is watching the imagery. I want to keep that as a full image, so I'm not going to rip into that like this. And then all I'm going to do <laughs> is take this and rip it. So look how pretty that looks on there. And your beautiful old glue, so your good old uh, collar gel, will stick your rice paper onto this. Now, the collar gel has been ridiculously busy. I am ready for an update, Miss Ems. <sighs> it's busy, folks. Over 80% of the stock has gone. If you want this, please check your baskets out. It is very, very busy. See, I've put it on my glass mat. I can just peel it off my glass mat and then actually pop it on top of here. And it will glue it on top of my wonderful... Look at that. And I love it because I've still got that shine. I didn't leave as much of the shine on my others, but with this one, I'm going to leave a little bit of that shine because I think it looks really effective. And I love how it's ripped as well. I just think that is so cool. And again, on the back, look, going to pop that here. And again, popping that on. Oh, we've got a few more images. So while I'm gluing... Um, oh, I'm so pleased. Thank you, folks. Oh, man. Alison, that is beautiful. And that's the Around the World that we've got on today's show. Oh, isn't it gorgeous, Alison? Thank you so much. That is so, so beautiful. Aren't they nice? See, for home decor. Oh, is that from Sheena, did you say? Sheila, Sheila, that is beautiful. And again, using it, that looks... Is that a, a page, Sheila? Yeah. That's wonderful. Um, and it is that around the world is such a beautiful, beautiful set. I mean, they both are. They're both absolutely exquisite. And it's one of those, isn't it, Stampira, you collect. And yet, because you use them, you use them really, you use them a bit precious. You know, you don't you don't just cut into them. You look at every little bit, every little bit that you can save. I mean, look at this rice paper. That tiny little bit. Look. Oh, no, my collar gel's going to sell out. Right, your collar gel is now limited stock. That means less than 10% remaining. If you do want to get hold of this, you have to check your basket out. It is going to sell out, is that one. See, I really like I'm going to keep that shine on this one. Now, I'm actually gluing this on with the collar gel. It will stick my beautiful glamour paste on, which I think is fabulous. I mean, that's already sticking but just pop that under there and keep some movement on this don't completely glue it down because that's what that's what makes this really interesting and if you can see can you see it's got i've put the gold and the pink so it means if you manage to get a curl and obviously i could glue it so i actually got the curl in there but if you get the curl you'll see the gold and the pink fancy that in it OK, your collar gel, that has sold out, technically sold out. If any bounce back, we'll let you know. But that has technically now sold out. Oh, I'm loving my tags. I'm having such a nice time. OK, now, what I'm going to do next is literally just decorate, and this will take me seconds because these have been cut out of my... Which pad did I cut these out of? Um, a journey begins a 1,000 miles. So I'd say... That's going to be my around the world, isn't it? It is. It's from around the world. And I just love all these little elements. The little bike is gorgeous. But all I'm going to do, look, I've cut all these out. And these are just so cool. Look, look, look. Again, I just think these are magnificent. You've got the... Um, You've got the little postage stamp here. You've got these elements here. So it's just layers, 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 which is marvellous. Now, hold on. So I'm going to... I'm going to <laughs> just layer like this. So I'm going to start... <laughs> start layering like this. Okay, so it's just bringing these little elements on, like so. There, like this. 
And I'm going to, I want that under there, like here. So this is just putting these on. Now, it is busy. Please check your baskets out, folks. I did, this afternoon, this is all I were doing. Oh, do you know, I had such a nice afternoon. Because they're just so fun to do. Look at that, see? Just layer, layer, layer which I love. So, your collar gel, I know this is sold out, but the collar gel is going to go under here. And that is going to stick under here, like so. Boom. There. So, sticking that there like that. Which is gorgeous. And actually, do you know what? When I was doing these, I don't think I put any colour on them even. Just round the edges when it were dry. And that rate, I've coloured, I've put ink round those. But, and then the sentiments. Now, with your sentiments, obviously, I love all the sentiments. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Indeed, it jolly well does. So, let's just layer that up. So, I, I wanted to cut this up because I think it looks pretty. And then, that's the first bit. This is the second bit. And I'll just stick one on, then let Catherine do the thingy. Recap. And all I've done with this is ink round the edges. And then, obviously, you can just decide where you're going to stick this. That I will, oh, I'll just tell you about that, obviously. It's your rice paper, so all you need to do is pop your hole through and then because it's rice paper with your your good old gel again you can just start working that in you'll be able to cut off the excess which i did do so i just pop that back through and i actually just cut the excess off and it doesn't matter with that again it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because with your glue you can literally just start to to sort of move the rice paper. And it I kind of liked with this, it rolled over a little bit. So it kind of give you a bit more um a bit more of a, a thick layer around the actual see, doesn't it look pretty? Whoops, there's my words. And then I'll just stick one of my my first word on. So oops, start with the journey, not with the first step. So pop that there like that and I'll put the rest of my words on but doesn't that look fabulous oops redosia look oh isn't it gorgeous right shall I finish my little tag well our lovely Catherine remind you what we've got Miss Catherine oh thank you look that is looking oh, amazing I've got to I say I love these I'm Catherine. so impressed with that glue oh it's so good oh, I think it's I need so some good. that can't get it this time though it's sold out again let's have a look where we started though because of course you've got here the Voyages Fantastiques did I say that right then? It doesn't sound right. Did I? Oh, that's not too bad. We'll go with it. Yeah, well, that'll do. 12 by 12 is what you're getting here. These are double-sided sheets, but I will repeat what Leonie said earlier. You are getting a different design on each side. You only get one of each. So if you do want to go for an extra book, I was watching from the other side of the studio, actually, and Leonie said, you know, the clock, you definitely want to make a clock. Actually, I was with her when she said I would just frame it. I would frame any of these. These are just stunning. Aren't they beautiful? They really, really are. And the colour palette, it just works, doesn't it? You've got those soft hues, those browns, those almost a golden hue. You've got almost a duck egg blue in there as well. Stunning. Do you know, everything just works so beaut beautifully together. You can take any element from any area, put them together, and you know it's going to work. Adore the tags as well because, as Leonie said, you've got double sided those. If you cut those out, you could journal on the back of them. Do you know what? If you haven't gone for this one yet, don't miss out on it. Only $11.99 as well. Dispatch from the 23rd of November because, of course, these are coming from abroad. Let me just show you this page again that Leonie did because this looks amazing, doesn't it? Love the idea of the page turner there with the tag. And of course, if we open this up, you can see how Leonie's made the use of various different elements from that book. 
It's beautiful. So impressed with those photographs we had sent in as well. Well done, everybody. Amazing work. 744850 is the item number if you want to go for that one. If you can afford it, do double up on that. You will not regret it. Then, of course, we're going around the world. We've got the 12 by 12. We've also got the 8 by 8 for you as well. I am just going to show you through the 8 by 8 simply because I do believe, listen to Leone there, you are getting the same pages in the larger version. But that means, of course, you are getting then two of each aren't you e even though they are different size but it's nice when you get those different sizes because they're relative to the size of the project that you're working with as well now i do think many of you won't be able to pop this one into your basket without going for the first one as well and i do believe that might be what you're doing because we've sold well it's kind of neck and neck with these oh look at these anything that's got postcards on it you've got me look there you are you paris there as well oh you've even got the whale in that one didn't notice that before that is a lovely page these are stunning aren't they look at that look at that for a background beautiful those colors really really do put on those old maps as well absolutely gorgeous so the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 together 18 pounds and 98 pence you can double up on those if you want as well but i would certainly if you can afford it go for the first item and that one together gives you more scope zero three nine four four six is the item number if you want to go for the 12 by 12 and 8 by 8 then those rice papers oh i'm quite envious again because do you know it's very rare i've had a show with rice papers on and i absolutely adore them now you've got two different designs here you've also got the tags as well just trying to pick up the other one I've got no nails they're all worn down <laughs> how do you manage to pick anything up Leonie because you must be the same I've got, we've never yeah, got any nails have no. we just a no, just a no. <laughs> yeah, you're only yeah. always covered in glue, so you just touch them and they stick to you. That's I'm a like good tip. Spider Man. <laughs> Nine pounds and ninety-seven pence is going to get you the rice paper and those tags as well. Absolutely stunning, aren't they? Nine pounds ninety-seven to say five three two five four seven. And then I'm so impressed with this, and I am so sorry I can't remember the lady's name. But somebody, after watching the last Zora show, said to me, "Can you use with the glamour paste?" in the Zuri moulds and I said you know what it was a it was a private message to me and I said I will check and when I see Leone I'll check and as soon as I saw this on the counter I thought yes I can answer the question now yes you can use it in your moulds now obviously the Zuri moulds are quite deep but you can you, see, you can see how flexible it is you can see what Leone's done with it and it has the most amazing finish to it as well and I'm going to let everybody if, if they were doing it I'd put one layer in let it dry yeah, and, then, and then build it yeah yeah because it'll take a work. long long time to dry yeah. won't it it was deep yeah. but I'll tell you what would work the texture plates we had on recently oh, was yeah, really yeah, yeah. absolutely and your amazing on those folders. yeah it works with them as yeah. well Cracking I am stuff. going to let you into a little secret as well. I was smiling away to myself at the other side of the county. You know, when Leonie was trying to get the lid off, I had a sneaky peek of this earlier. So it was me that put the lid back on. I was <laughs> stronger than I realised. You put that on there well is, strong. I, I did you. a good job of that, didn't I? Either that or you're very weak, Leonie, which is it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 531979 is the item. Oh, I love, love, love that product. I need that on one of my shows. I'm so impressed with it. And then, of course, you've got the soft clay. This is any clay is amazing, isn't it? A great starter bundle, this one. If you've never tried it before, you're getting both of these. 1099. There's 80 grams in each. And it is super lightweight as well. So great for your card embellishments as well. Again, you can see what you can achieve with it. It picks up the detail beautifully. And then you can go over the top with all your different finishes very nice indeed it is it's super lightweight that's 842093 and then of course we do have the cream paste always impressed with this as well I can do it can I know it's gonna work look at that mm. oh it's amazing stuff it really is it, again if you've got anything that's got really fine detail on as well then this is going to work absolutely beautifully adore this stuff 585609 is the item number you're getting both those pots for 15 pounds and 98 pence over to the website we shall go there we are you can see you've got all those paper pads there as well the glamour page you must have that the glue is gone but take advantage of what we've got left on this show one hour for stamperia that is just not right is it we need to do something about that so make the most of it and do check those baskets out right we'll head back to leone i think she's ready for another demonstration ready for another demonstration um okay now
I can't. I'm a bit annoyed. The dye I wanted to use with this, I can't find, which has well bugged me. Uh, but, but, I have got... Where have I just put my dye? Bear with, gang. Oh, do you know I drive myself insane? Um, I had a dye three seconds ago. I've covered it. I've covered it. I've put some... Uh, hold on. Not on the floor. Oh... Jane said, LeBlanc followed by Stamperia, we're all going to be bankrupt. <laughs> Sorry, but very happy. Do you know what, Jane? This is it. I mean, I've been working all day, but it doesn't feel like work, does it? I mean, it's just, it's just so lovely. Right. OK. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but I think it should work, so I thought I'd try it on live telly. Um, <laughs> cream paste. So, obviously, cream paste is ridiculously flexible. All I did, again, I put it on my mat, and that I did put on that mat. Let it dry, and then it literally just peels off. I mean, it's just such nice stuff. So I figured, if it's going to go on a mat, then obviously it's going to be able to die cut. This is my theory. As I say, I haven't tried it yet. Let's give it a little go. So what I've actually got, I've got a detailed dye there. Let's use... Um, I'm absolutely, I'm proper, I had a really good dye that I wanted to use. You know when it really, it's like, where have I put that? Because it were the other one of these. It's, um, I've got some beautiful graphic 45 dyes and they're stunning. Um, I've got the big and the tag and then I've got, and I wanted them for this actually, because they've got some lovely um, cogs and things, are wonderful. Uh, 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 what are they, clocks? Right, okay, so, die cutting. OK. Where have I left them? Well, I thought they were in my room. I thought they were in there. Because I've got that set in there, so... Well, let you know, but I didn't split them up, I haven't together. Anyway, it's irrelevant, isn't it? It's probably with my other set of pens. Yeah, I'd love to see a picture. Oh, wow, they're nice. So that's from Mel. N um, Nell. Yay! Um, they're lovely. Amazing, and they're using the round the world papers. Don't they suit those boxes? That looks absolutely gorgeous. They might be LeBlanc boxes as well, the best boxes ever. Um, they're absolutely lovely. Thank you. Oh, keep those coming in. I'm really enjoying seeing all your photos. Thank you ever so much for sharing. Right now, I was going to use, and the reason I got out my wax paper, I was going to use wax paper just in case it's stuck. I didn't because I couldn't be bothered, but we'll see. OK, look at that. It die cuts. So that means with this, now the beautiful thing about that, and when I was doing this, when I was thinking about doing this, I was thinking, oh yeah, but why would I want to use cream paste to die cut? Why don't I just use a piece of white card? The difference is with this, that's got flexibility that a lot of card doesn't have. You know, to be able to do that, you're absolutely going to get any cracks in that crease, my friends. It is absolutely beautiful. And it does mean then it will give you such a, a versatile uh, finish. I mean, let's have a little look at this. So be careful, because I've not tried it before. I love live TV. To, oh, look, that's ace. That is ace. And that is seriously flexible. So if you're going round jars, if you're putting it on anything, because it is so flexible, that is, and it's really, it's got a beautiful feel to it as well. So obviously you could paint this before you actually die cut it, which would look gorgeous, but you've got texture in there as well. So it's just another way of using your beautiful cream paste. I mean, the scrap that you've got left over looks stunning as well. Um, and I wanted to try that because I think cream paste is one of those. We do sell out time and time and time again, but it's so nice to have another reason to actually uh, use it. OK, another picture! Yay! So, the, oh, lovely Brig and Dave. Um, that is gorgeous. You, obviously, you guys are amazing. Oh, and look at the moulds you've used. They're lovely moulds. I wonder if they're, um, oh, I wonder what they will be. Will they be a Prima? Oh, do you reckon? Yeah, Catherine's nodding. She reckons that's a Prima. They're beautiful. Thank you, gang. Stunning bit of rice paper there, my friends. Lovely, lovely, lovely. OK, I probably won't finish this, but 
because I'm doing my 12 by 12, I wanted a matching page because this is going to be, you see, I've used it before with Graphic 45, so this is going to be my, my nice paper book. That's what this is going to be. Um, so with this one, what I wanted. So I've already cut out my, my the train. I just love this. So obviously this is from uh, the first set. Um, absolutely stunning. I mean, there's so many elements in this. It's ridiculous. So yeah, it does look chill, doesn't it? But it's got wings, so it's all right. I mean, if he falls, he just whaps his wings really quickly. Did you see? Did you see that new suit? That um, that suit that they've got. It basically it just looks like a massive suit with sort of winger bits and then they've got a motor attached. Seriously, it's well cool. Can't remember what it's called. It looks scary, but oh my gosh. Um, uh, David said, yep, yeah, Prima Moulds. See me and Catherine. Hey, hey. Oh, we know our moulds. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to put the world on, but I want the train sort of coming into the world. So what I wanted to do was fussy cut this out a little bit. So all I want to do is start cutting around the train. Now, we've had a question. Um, can we stamp onto the dry cream paste? Yes, you definitely would be able to. Obviously, you need to use solvent-based. I would definitely use the stays on or acrylic paint because it needs to uh, to stick. Um, you know, your your other inks, I don't think, are dry properly. So use a, um, an ink like your, your stays on or, or um, use acrylic. But yeah, definitely, definitely be able to stamp on it. Um, you'd have to be careful because it's got that texture. So obviously because you've got the texture, it might not be a smooth finish, but it'd look absolutely amazing. See so your cream paste, once you start playing with it, and this is why I love our crafty stuff. You know, like if you can, if you've got a product that's got way more than, than one sort of purpose, it just makes it even more exciting, doesn't it? Now I'm not cutting this out as well as I should but I'm being a bit speedy and I'm not going to put it all under I'll change my design instead so there's my little old train so that's going to go on about there I then want to bring in one of my worlds one of my gorgeous atlases so I'm going to cut I'm actually going to cut that bit off because I've decided I don't want this bit now I've folded it in the center so that's going to be like that. I love these papers. And then, and there's something quite fabulous about cutting them up and reusing them because you make them your own. You know, you make it something different, which is really exciting. So I'm going to have it like that. I'm going to cut the bottom off. I'll do that so you can see where I'm going with this. I'm not going to glue it down yet because gluing down is one of the last things that I do <laughs> because... I don't know, I'll just eyeball that. Uh, gluing it down is one of the last things that you ju do generally because obviously um, you start adding things to it. Your, your collar gel again is the one. It's really good to glue this down. Now I'm going to have that slightly higher because I like this black line around it. Okay, so I've got my train going over my world to so merge in those two. I'm definitely going to have the words, there is nothing like a dream to create the future because i think they're beautiful uh, now the tags i love the tags so what i would do for this one is not glue down the world i'd glue part of it but then i'd leave part of it so it means that becomes a pocket for one of your tags because your tags you want to be able to see both sides this is where you'll put your journaling this is where you'll put and there's loads of these i mean look at that and look at that one oh isn't that just beautiful so you could put a couple of gorgeous tags in there which would be absolutely perfect obviously if that tags there then i'll probably move my words and this is why you don't glue down straight away because you start playing uh, what you could bring on from the other set you could bring on the postcard wallet because that in the other set works perfectly i'm not going to do because i'm going to make that into something else you've also got in this set all your beautiful clocks and these look exquisite 
So tucking them behind like this. Obviously, you can have them so they fall off the page. The lovely thing with something like this, if they fall off the page, you can have that so it, you can turn the page over with it, which I absolutely love. Now, what I did do on the other one, I did use a stencil uh, to put black paste on. I definitely do that. So where my black is, I'd create texture. I know I've only got a few minutes, so I'm absolutely not going to stencil now. But I will put my stencil behind it, and that gives you that beautiful, beautiful texture. And you can see how well that works then. Doesn't that look good? And that, I'm not going to glue it down because literally that time but that I'm happy with that and that would give me a really nice double page spread which I think looks absolutely beautiful now I don't know if you can tell with this one but it has got can you see the a slight sheen on that I don't know if you can see the slight sheen probably not that has been created and just really really quickly that has been created with the wonderful glamour paste so with your glamour paste I love this, right down to the wire, two and a half minutes. Do, 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 do. So, your glamour paste, what you can do, obviously, is go on to your papers. And I'll just be as quick as I possibly can, not that one. I'm being really fussy. I'm being as quick as I can, but really fussy. You could use it for your stenciling. So, if I just show you quickly with your stenciling. So... You could easily, obviously with this, it will dry with enough texture to give you that beautiful stencil, which is lovely. I mean, that's lovely. But what you can do with this, that's got loads of cream paste on it. Okay, so what I can actually do is spritz on that now. So I'm watering that right down. Get a paintbrush. Picking that up, this will create a wash. So it gives me a shimmery wash. You'll be able to see this because that is beautiful. So your leftovers create a shimmery wash. Nothing is wasted. Doesn't that look good? I mean, the gold is absolutely beautiful. Obviously, you can get a scrap piece of paper, wet it and pick that up and, ho and get a bit of a print. But to create a wash in seconds, is amazing. Um, I might just colour in all my clocks now. <laughs> um, okay, if you do want anything, please check your baskets out. It's Stamperia. Everything is beautiful. So don't miss out on anything. I'm going to be back with you on Wednesday. I'm really looking forward to Wednesday as well. I've got Blue Fern Studios. Absolutely gorgeous. So I've got a really nice week, you know. So please, please uh, get me um, tune in then. But please check your baskets out. The products are stunning. Stamperia, I've had such a nice day. I'm very lucky, I know. Uh, but you can also work with these if you do check your baskets out. Right, we've only got seconds left. Thank you, Miss Lovely Catherine. Thank you very much. What a wonderful hour, Leo. Oh, I've you know, thoroughly enjoyed love... watching you. A lovely time. Oh, a lovely time. and I'm going to say this without embarrassment. Doesn't Leonie look so cute today? <laughs> Thank she you. looks so adorable. Oh, you're lovely. Aww. You always look fabulous, uh, lovely Catherine. Anyway, um, thank you. I will see you on Wednesday, and I'll pass over to Catherine to tell you what's happening for the rest of the day. Yes, coming up next, from one fabulous hour to another, we've got the Blanche One Day special, and then we're crafting ourselves silly with weaving a little bit later on. Then the Blanche are back. Of course, that will be a repeat of the earlier live hour. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality, and award winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art.
We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Agenda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. As expected, we had a super busy launch of Blanche's one day special. Well, to be honest, not just the one day special, right across the board of all these beautiful, beautiful items. Now, we've already had three sellouts. Uh, one of them is back on an extended delivery. Uh, so it is the embellishments here, which are the metal feet there. We have managed to get some more. I love these feet. Uh, so it's an additional two days um, shipping, so from the 26th of November, I'm loving these, but shall we look at the one day special? Now, we don't have the actual moulds here in the studio because they are over with Blanche, but what we have got are the casts, so you can see what you will be making. Now, you're going to get 10 moulds which make 23 individual casts. Look, these are some of my favourite 
favourites. I love these diddy little things. Look, there's a mitt there. There's a you know pot. There's a little spoon. You've got a wreath. You've got some windows with shutters. I love the texture on this. Isn't this absolutely divine? Now. As well as the moulds, you will also be getting six plaques here. Now, on the one-day special itself, there is a £6 saving. However, if you were to just go for the moulds by themselves, which are at the bottom of the uh, screen, that's another £3 saving, and that... It's my little hand gesture that's become a thing now. So that £3 saving carries over and that means you get, you actually are getting a £9 saving. Now, are we allowed to have a look at some of these beautiful samples? Because they are absolutely stunning. Look at what you can do. I mean, how elegant, how exquisite, how, I almost feel like, like that one's slightly Victorian. There's something so wonderful about it. And then look at this sample with those wonderful cameos. They are absolutely gorgeous. Now, without further ado, um, live via Skype. Hello, Blanche. How are you? I'm good. I'm so pleased to be working with you again, albeit from across the pond. <laughs> We are here in our studio and I would like to show you we set up the whole studio with our wonderful product. Look at this. Um, Blanche, this is my idea of heaven. I feel like I'm going oh, thank you. <laughs> I feel, feel like I'm going back in time. Just look at all these samples. Wow, Blanche, you've worked your socks off, but you have created a room of beauty. I want to live there. Oh, thank you very much. Here you see all the wonderful samples uh, combined with capers. This, everything is made with the ODS in combination with different papers or decoupage kits. Oh my goodness, we're still going. This room looks so beautiful. I literally want to dive into this scene. Oh, I can see some gorgeous samples there because we have got boxes on the show that you can obviously cover with some gorgeous papers. I love that gold theme you've got going on there. Yes, this is a combination of three kits. Here we have a combination of the kits with the paws, with the glass pole. And then we have a kit with the um, uh, copper metal paint and the glitter paste and the heavy body gel. And we have a wonderful kit with uh, paper boxes. Amazing. With round paper boxes and square paper boxes. And here you see the metal feet too. <laughs> oh, yes. In fact, speaking of that, I've got a lovely little box here. Look at this. So we do obviously have some samples in uh, the studio. That's beautiful. What we're showing here are the clear and gold pearls. They're 12.99 we are 30 percent of the stock gone 160250 so blanche um would you like to um talk us through our, oh we can still carry on if you like do you want to show us more yes here here we can show you the combination of the travel paper kit and you see the the travel paper kit with the one day special in this travel paper kit, you get 15 double-sided papers, you get 15 centerpieces. Here on the centerpieces are the, the center like this one, and this comes all from the travel paper kit. And on top in this travel paper kit, you get 70 laser cuts. Wow, in fact... And we have more samples here on this side, you can see more. Oh yes, we're having a little look here. That's yes, if you see all these, all these wonderful laser cuts, there are luggage and uh, some uh, Victorian person, old maps, everything are inside of the kit, uh, old timers, old, old uh, cars, and you have these wonderful papers. Wow, it looks so vintage, so oldie-worldie. I love, again, these samples. Um, we can have a quick flash, actually, of the paper kit, if you like. Yes, sure. There it is. Uh, but then, if you, we want to go back to you. Uh, see. Yeah, yes. Yes, here you see, you get one sheet with the centerpieces. Oh, sorry, I, I, I uh, look to you. Now, That's all right. here you see, no problem. You, you've shown, you shown us the paper kit. These are 15 papers, double-sided printed. You get the centerpieces. You, yes. Now, 
And you get the large sheet with the smaller center pieces is on specialty stamping paper. You get these tags in front of you. And you get a bundle, 70 single laser cuts. Wow, and I've got the board here, Blanche, as well, that I can show. Amazing. 70 pieces, as you said, Blanche. Look at the detail. Again, it's about going back in time. I have to say, I love all, all of their dresses. The gentlemen look so dapper. Uh, you can see the travel element there because you can see the suitcases. There's the trains, the wonderful vintage cars. Absolutely beautiful. And I think it's, uh, sorry, and I think it's a good combination. You can work, uh, if you like steampunk, it's, it's matching to steampunk theme and yeah. to the trap theme because of the hot air balloons and the trains and everything. You can work for steampunk with these kids too. I love that idea. So you're getting, as you said, 15 sheets of the 12 by 12. Um, Ten different designs and three of each, which uh, I've got here. There we go. And they're double-sided, aren't they, Blanche? Yes, are all double-sided printed. You have the larger image on, on the front for scrapbooking or like these. And mostly on the back side, you have a pattern that you can cut in all the sizes you want. Marvellous. Again, we're transported back in time. I love that you've even put borders down here, so we're not going to waste a single thing with these beautiful papers. Really great for your scrapbooking, of course. Yes, our small stamps are on, on the bottom of the papers. <laughs> beautiful. Look at that. And then there's also the two A4 design sheets that I... Oh, have I got the two? Oh, where's my second one? Oh, right, I see. No, got are the, these are the same design. You get two of oh, It's one design, but you can get two of these. Right, there you go. Uh, let's have a look at the one that's in my hand. There you are. Uh, I'll just tilt that forward slightly. I love these. You can cut them up. You can distress them. Um, beautiful. Yes. And they match perfectly in the smaller frame from the ODS. <laughs> ah, excellent. There you go. So it all ties in. And uh, there you go. And then very quickly, you get these lovely, beautiful strips here. Fifteen yes, sheets of these. Yes. These are the centerpieces, and there are the sightseeing from from Italy. From there's a lot of Paris. Old old paint, uh, oil paintings are inside, and uh, maps. Excellent. So for this whole collection, it's just nineteen ninety nine. Item number is uh, four five eight. 580. Now, I saw uh, as some of your, that lovely gold collection, that you were yes. using these paper boxes here. Yes, yes. Uh, here we use these. This is a wonderful kit because this is a perfect square sizes and uh, round sizes boxes. They they fit all uh, in one box if, if you get these and you can use them the smaller pieces, look here, I like the very small piece like this one. It's, it's nice. This is the smallest from the square and this is the smallest from the round. And I've actually got the small one here so you can see how you're going to decorate it up. She says, let's open this up. See, this is going to be nice for, oh, it's got a nice sturdy lid. <laughs> <laughs> or it's just that I'm no. extremely weak. Sorry, Blanche. It's, just... Perhaps it's, it's, it sticks together. <laughs> Normally it's, it's, it's easy to open. <laughs> it is easy. It's just me. It's just me. Um, now for these, they're over 50% of the stock gone. Trust me, Blanche. Trust me. Uh, yeah, so 50% of the stock gone. It is 14 99. Item number is 273702. I promise they're easy to open, it's just me. Right then. Um, we have also got, and I love this medium, Blanche, the yes. crackle paste. The cracking paste. Yeah. The cracking paste. This is a medium you can work with our stencil paste. We offer the stencil paste too. This is a white. No, no, that's not this. You see on the box. Yeah. On this box, you have the crackle varnish but this is a crackle paste we oh offer. apologies this is, then. This is, this, yes a, this is a wrong sample the cracking paste stays white when it's dry but it, it becomes small crackle right and you, yes 
you take you can use this with a primer. Yeah. Uh, when you use this with a primer, uh, the cracking paste is, is stays on every surface. Do but you if you use without the primer, you can work on on um, different surface. But um, uh, uh, yes, now you can uh, you can see it perfectly. I think so. Yeah. Thank you, Blanche. Thanks for th thank you. Sorry, we've got the wrong sample. It's good to see what we've got there. There you go. I'm going to put this sample to one side, like so. Um, right. So if you want to go for these, ten ninety nine. Item number is seven one zero three eight two. Now next, we've got the um, lovely fine gold fine glitter paste, the yes. bronze metallic acrylic paint, and you've also got the um, 100 mils of heavy body gel we've got here. I love this set. They're beautiful. Oh, look at this sample. Yes, this is a perfect kit because you have here, you have this wonderful glitter. It's a re really fine gold glitter, and you have the cup paint. The paint uh, covers perfectly any surface. This is behind glass, what you see here. This is uh, with, made with our plexi stencil. You 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 work with the plexi stencil from the other from the back side of the glass plate. And here, these samples here on the side, you see the all these pearls here and the pearls. You apply with a heavy body gel as a glue. Wonderful. I've got a nice little sample here as well. But we'll... There you go. Lovely. And then coming back to you. Gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that. Nice stuff. Now, um, we believe we, we've got some of the lovely antique feet back on extended delivery. But already of the restock stock, we are approaching 20% gone there. Have you got any lovely samples with these on, Blanche? Yes, sure. We have this, sure. We have, I have my, some of my boxes in my hand. And here you get four different sizes. And this is one size I want to show you. And I think it's a really a big difference if you have a box without feet or you have these wonderful metal feet. It looks professional and it looks really like you bought it in a very expensive store. Beautiful. So you're going to get a lovely bag like this, absolutely full of these lovely little feet. They are gorgeous. Now, just a reminder again that um, it's going to be delivered from the 26th of November because it's on that extended delivery there. 11 99 for the feet. 708002. Uh, then I believe we have got the decoupage kit coming up next. We've got 12 sheets here, four designs. Lovely stuff. Uh, we've got some, there you go, finished samples over to you. Yes, yes. Here we uh, work with the French label decoupage kit on boxes, uh, behind glass. This is the glass way, it works behind the glass way. Uh, you have this. These paper sheets are like collage. It's just like collage. And you can cut out areas from these sheets like here, or you use them as a sheet as a, by your own behind the cast plate. But you have one wonderful sheet of butterfly in this kit. Yes. And here on this side, you see the butterflies on glass base are like these, mm -hmm. you cut them out, put them on a sheet of metal, and then you can bend them. Then they are flexible, and they look really like butterflies. They do indeed love these. We're approaching 30% of the stock gone. It's 16.99, Now we've also got some more molds, absolutely stunning molds. And again, we've got a few samples here, but I'm sure you've got some samples out there. So these are the actual molds. There you go. Yes, yes. Here in this uh, this kit, you get small angels. I like these angels very much. Very small angels. You get these. Uh, small French style and small ornaments. This, the difference between this kit and our one day special, 
these ornaments are very thin and you can use it very thin and very small and you can use them perfectly on greeting cards. If you work on greeting cards or if you want to decorate really small things like these eggs or smaller boxes, uh, these are really perfect for this because you have these wonderful, very small, intricate pearls in this kit. Ah, oh, they're absolutely divine. Look at these. All right, and then. the wall, I like the wall too. Oh, good. I'm, I'm pleased. <laughs> uh, right, 1999. Item number is 436179. A third of the stock of these moulds have gone. Right, and then we've got, oh, just literally, I want to bathe in these beads. They are just <laughs> divine. Um, so you've got the clear um, and two tones of gold, but they shimmer absolutely exquisitely, don't they, Blanche? Yes, yes. And this is a really a uh, big theme this Christmas. If you look, all the Christmas bubbles or all these decorations uh, this year are full with beads. And I like these, these shimmer, these um, the surface from this, the bees. And here you see we cover the lids of the boxes. Yes, we cover the the uh, stars, the wooden stars. This wooden stars we will offer on, uh, offer on Wednesday, and it looks really luxurious. Also, if you work only on a thin stripe, like on the glass bottle. Oh, oh, I love that star that lights up. That's divine. This all looks so expensive. It's just wonderful. Imagine what you'd pay in a shop if you were buying all of this. But of course, we've got the opportunity to purchase these lovely goodies and make at home. Now, in terms of our lovely beads, um, pearls, sorry, pearls, um, we are approaching a third of the stock gone, 12 160 Now, I know that you want to see Blanche in action now, so we're going to go to the website there's loads more you can shop by brand um, there you go um, so you can shop by brand we have got shrink foils paper flowers uh, flexi stencils are there oh I love those borders they're wonderful oh now these are brand new I hadn't seen these these are the mixed media liquids um, I believe Blanche you used these uh, last hour and then we've got some uh, some more mediums Marvellous. Oh, and we've got Seven Day Saver too, that, which is jolly marvellous. Right then, without further ado, Blanche, um, a, a reminder that Blanche is live on Skype. Uh, I can't wait to see your demos. Let's go. Okay. Um, here I have a layout. The, the paper here is from the travel paper kit. And this is one of our eight flexi stencils. I now use the flexi stencil and I stick it on the paper and I work now with a cracking paste without the primer only with a cracking paste. I take a spatula and then I go over these lines. Nice. Uh, and of course we can see you're working on the flexi stencils which are brilliant because they can go around glass. Yes, they, they are sticky or self-adhesive and you can clean this perfectly, put them back to the foil and then you can, can clean this uh, on water, underwater, not on water. <laughs> yeah, uh, and we're approaching 30% uh, of the stent flexi stencils gone. They're at the bottom of the screen. Yes, you can work like this, but please... Uh, hold you the foil, put them back on the foil, and then yeah, now you can wash these. Right. The 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 crackle paste uh, gets or becomes crackle when they dry. You can uh, speeden it up with a, a hair dryer or with our heat tool, but now I let it dry by air. This is one of the six wooden plates you get uh, in the one day special. Yep. And this is one piece of paper from the trap paper kit. And these are, uh, this is, I will show these. This is this mode. This uh -huh. is one of the modes you get in the one day special. And I think you can see it's a seamless pattern because 
If you now, this is two times. Ah. And so seamless pattern, you can expand them how often you like. Wow, you could go around your whole house then. <laughs> yes, yeah. if you like, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I start and um, I fix these here. And uh, to all these, back to the mold. Uh, these molds you can work with resin if you like. You can work with uh, air dry, like like party with the air dry clay if you like. But you can uh, work with warm clay too, because you, there are no so thin or so integrate uh, motifs that you can't work with uh, with other materials. Right. Okay, and I think one. On this side, like me. And then I will put these on this side. For the 3D dimension, I, I work, uh, used to work with air dry clay. I like this very much because you get this wonderful 3D dimension. I put it like this. Yeah. And for, for, for a glue, I used the heavy body gel. Uh -huh. The heavy body gel is in the kit with a metal, with a metal color and the um, golden glitter paste. Lovely. We just put the details on screen for that kit. Eleven ninety nine seven eight zero three three two. This is a perfect glue for metal, for glass, for paper. I think for everything. You can make so many things with a heavy body chair. <laughs> yeah, and um, actually that kit is appro approaching 80% of the stock. Oh, sorry, 70% of the stock gone. Okay. <laughs> I start to hurry a little bit. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, now I do this. Um, these these molds, uh, I work with a, with a gray tone resin here inside, and... Uh, the color here on top, it's one layer, I will show it quickly, mm -hmm. uh, one layer of white gesso or white acrylic paint. And then I take our mixed media liquid. The mixed media liquids are really um, high pigmented, mm -hmm. but this is a high glossy transparent paint. You will see these now. It's only a drop. And then I go here over these form or ornament. Yeah. I will spray a little bit water over this. And you can see it goes directly into the depth of this. Yes, it's really soaked in now. Yes, and it looks the the... the the ornament comes through now. You mm. see more of the ornament. Definitely. Okay. Now it, it will dry. I, later I will show a little bit more about these paints. These paints are really wonderful mixed media paints. Okay. This is the, the uh, kind I work with these, I do these here. Or I color these. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I love you. I always say this. I love the way you compose your your gorgeous works of art. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is one of the centerpieces from the travel paper kit. Yep. The big, the big pan. Then I put the large round frame. Yes, like this. And then I will cut the back side. It sticks on my fingers. <laughs> uh, I want to show you one more with this frame. This frame I like very much. Mm -hmm. we, if you work like this, it means put a, a Christmas theme paper in these frames like I do here. This paper we offer on Wednesday at the second ODS. Okay. And this frame, you see here on the top, there's a hole, mm -hmm. and you can hang these. And I think it's it's a really nice decoration for your Christmas tree. Definitely, that's exactly what I was thinking. They look so beautiful, and they literally look like they've come from such a long time ago. Just how antique yes. you've made them look. 
It's, 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 it's a wonderful decoration, I think so. Yes. And here you see, this is made with a crackle varnish. I think we offer the crackle varnish by Eurochanda too. Yes. It's a two component crackle varnish with the antiquing paste. Yep, just putting the details onto screen for that one. So was that the was that the one that I had the box? That was that you know. Yes, sure, um, that's right. Yes. Shall this I... is a difference. This is a two component crackle varnish. It's transparent and it works like a varnish. Yes, this is the right thing. Ah, oh, I think we've got some samples here. Excellent. There you go. Uh, Ten ninety nine. So. Uh, here we go. Hopefully, this is the right one for this kit. Yes, this is the right one. Yes. Excellent. And here you see the yes. Here you see the crackle varnish. It's transparent, and if you put the second layer on top, but it's dry, it's it starts to crack, and you can see the cracks are with the antiquing paste. You put the antiquing paste inside, and then you can see the cracks. Excellent. Okay, I'll hand back to you then, Blanche. Yes. Now I put the frame on the side of my layout and I, I would like to have the smaller one. This smaller one I like very much. It's, the, it's a nice frame and it's the right side for greeting cards too. And these are the tags from the travel paper kit. And I think I take this one. one two, yes, this is Oh, you can use the the large A4 sheet, but now I forgot this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. So, and we find the right place for these. I think we do it here mm -hmm. at the top. Um, okay. do, you, do you always prefer to work with hot glue, Blanche? Yes, because it's quicker. Not at home. When I work at home, I mostly work with the uh, heavy body gel as a glue. But here, it needs to dry quickly and sticks directly perfectly. <laughs> okay, now yep. we put some flowers for decoration. We have a wonderful large flower pit uh, by Hochanda Tu with a range of white flowers and blue and red flowers. And here These they are. are? Yeah, sure. These are. Beautiful. They go 10.99 for those, 829.475. And these are wonderful small paper roses. I work now with these and I like the colors because you have the different colors. You have four different or three different Blue tones and red tones. Yes. Excellent. I took some larger here. More the blue, and then I can combine this with one of the blue. Smaller roses. Green here. Uh, yeah, and I like the fact that, as you've just shown, they've got snippability, so you don't have to use the whole yes. piece. Yes, you can use these, wait, uh, I cut these here, or you use it like this. Yeah. Take a uh, round from the, and you you bend these, and, oh wait, there's a label there, and work like this. I hope you can see this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we try to do our best here that you can see everything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. All good. So, wait. Uh, I think one more of the large one. Yes, on this side. Oh, no, no, it's too large. Too large, too large, too large. <laughs> Maybe on this side. A little bit more, yes. I think that's that's enough. One flow on this, and okay. So now I use the. It's dry. Now I have to dry this, and then I use the um, heavy body gel 
as a varnish. I will show you how it works. This is every time everything here is in cream tones. Yes. And I work with blue flowers. Mm -hmm. And I want a little bit more blue around the centerpiece of this layout. And for this, I use a little bit media liquid. Now, I hope you can see, now it cracks, it starts to crack on this side. But you will see it later better when I put the color on top. Okay. Now, it's this is the heavy body gel. And I cover these all around the centerpiece with these to cover or, yes, or use it as, as a mark to cover the paper. Because the paper is very porous. Yeah. And I don't want that the, uh, the paint uh, soaks in, into this paper. I hope you understand my English. Oh, yeah, fabulous English. <laughs> fabulous. I, I, I can't speak I another language at all. Um, <laughs> details on screen are 11 99 for your uh, gold fine glitter paste, bronze metallic acrylic paint, paint and the 100 mil heavy body gel that uh, Blanche has just used. Yes, yes, I fasten it up. And then I use the green blue of the mixed media paints. Now here, it's too wet. I use a paper towel and this I fasten it a little bit. I think it's enough. Okay. <laughs> now, this is the blue green. One drop. And a brush with a lot of water. And I go inside a bit. I start to color a little bit around the centerpiece. Mm -hmm. And now you see the paint doesn't soak into the paper. Uh -huh. You can go with a paper towel over it, dip it a little bit over these papers, and then put the blue paint around the set. And with the paints, the mixed media liquids, I should say, a little goes an extremely long way. They're very, very yes. pigmented. Yes. Are very high pigmented and high glossy too. Mm -hmm. They are really high glossy. I'll show you a little later what you can do with these. These are wonderful paints. Yes, I think that now we have a blue shiny around the surface. Okay, this now. Now we have these wonderful laser cuts in the travel paper kit. I have a lot of these here and now I I try to find somewhat I think the blue or air balloon. It's very nice. Then here. Huh? I think it's nice. Lovely, okay. yeah, I agree. I use the same a little bit of our air dry clay and the heavy body layer. Sorry, I use these my fingers. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just curious, how come you use the air dry clay to glue down on these pieces rather than the hot glue gun? Yeah, because I want the 3D dimension here. Ah, right, okay. See this. I want the, you can use the foam pads too if you like, but it's very easy to work with these um, air dry clay. It, it sticks directly and you have these... Um, Bent surface because you see like here. Yes, perfect. And what we shall do more? Yeah, or oh, one with a man. Oh, this, 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 no, no, let's see. I think it's the better, better one. Like here. Yes, I bend them and a really small piece. Just that little bit. Uh, details for the um, Trava paper kit 
are on screen where you're going to get all these beautiful um, pieces that you're seeing, those lovely laser cut pieces. Uh, you're getting also uh, 15 sheets of your 12 by 12, two of your A4 and 15 sheets of the, uh, how do we call them, the strips? Tag sheets, that's it. Yes, tags. I, I, I uh, talk uh, like, like center pieces. These are the tags with the, all the center pieces. And this one, like here. Oh, and then it's ready. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you can bend this around this dry clay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now I will turn this layout and you can see it perfectly. Ah, oh, marvellous. Look at this composition. It's gorgeous. It's got such a vintage feel. Thank you so much, Blanche. You're welcome. Uh, so I'll just do a quick recap and then we'll come back to you. Now, if you haven't yet seen the one day special, now we don't physically have the moulds in the studio, they are over with Blanche, but we've actually got the casts that have come out of them. Um, and they are absolutely exquisite. Look at these. And I absolutely love them, um, you know, um, painted with that sort of co coppery gold. But look, these are my favourites. You can bake a doll's house and put them in. I just adore them. How nice is, uh, I'm thinking about, they could be on a trinket bracelet. Oh, that'd be nice. And then you've got a wreath. You've got some lovely cameos. I love the um, window with the shutters. This is marvellous. Look at all that texture in there. You've got flourishes. You've got borders. Oh, uh, our baker's coming in to have a real look at these. Look at the pie. The rolling pin, amazing, that's so cute. I wonder if it's, what was it? Blackbirds in a pie or something like that. Do you remember that, that tale um, or that nursery rhyme? There's a little mitt there. Oh, it's just the spoon. I can't get over the spoon. That's fabulous, I love it. Now, for these lovely moulds, so basically you're gonna get 23 casts out of your moulds. Um, and then you've also got the plaques six MDF plaques, you've got your rectangles, your circles and your ovals. Now, with the one day special, we are approaching 40% of the stock gone and we had a deep stock because it's always busy with Blanche. Um, if you buy the one day special, you get a six pound saving. But if you were to buy the moulds on their own, which is at the bottom of the screen, there's a three pound saving. Now, those two savings come together, so you're actually saving nine pounds on the one day special. Now the MDF um, plaques on their own are worth 9.99. So again, it just shows you how much value you've got and how much beauty you're gonna get from these molds. 32 pounds and 98 pence, item number is 319576. Then we've got the travel paper kit, okie dokie. Let's have a look at uh, the gorgeous papers. Here we are. You're going to get 15 sheets of these, your 12 by 12s. They are double-sided and we really are going on our travels. Look at that. There's strips at the bottom, so definitely don't, don't lose those. Um, and then we've got our beautiful lady here. Wow, I wish I had a waist as thin as hers. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Molly and Moyes just said you do. No. Uh, <laughs> and then we've got our hot air balloon. We've even got the little um, strip down the side there. Absolutely gorgeous. That's a lovely good one for adding photographs. Stunning. Here we go. We've got toppers at all sorts. Then you're getting two sheets of the A4. Have a little look at these. Two sheets of the A4. There you go. With the hot air balloons and the keys. There you are. And the cars are on there. Marvellous. Uh, yep, two of those. And then we're going to get 15 sheets of your tags. Yeah. So we're going through Paris. I think we're going through Rome. Oh, I'd love to go through both of those places right now, to be quite honest. There we go. So we're going on our travels. Uh, and then, of course, we have these wonderful laser cut tree um uh laser cut designs marvelous look at this 
there's telescopes. I love the flapper girls, some of them are. Um, wonderful. So many elements. Did we say 73 again? 73? Yeah, oh, 70, apologies, 70 of these. Now we're approaching 40% of this bundle. 1999-458580 is the item number. Now we have managed to get the uh, metal feet back on extended delivery. Um, these will be dispatched from the 26th in tw instead of the 24th of November. Everything else from the 24th. We're over a third of the stock gone on these metal feet. Look, I, oh, again, just adore these. And they're so wonderful for embellishing your boxes. We can embellish anything really, but I love them on little boxes. £11.99, 708002. Then we have got our lovely boxes. Ta-da, Blanche! <laughs> got the lid off. <laughs> They're just nice and secure, that's all. Um, so you've got 60% of the stock gone on these, and they take a lot of mediums, they really do. At 14.99, item number is 273702. Aha! So you've got the boxes there, Blanche. Yes, I, I want to show you the wonderful metallic pay and the glitter paste. And this is the metallic paint, and it covers so perfect. You see, you don't need any primer under the box. You can go directly with the paint over the cardboard box. And you see, it's only one layer you see here. Yeah, it's, it's such one good layer. coverage. It, yeah, it's, it's covered perfectly. You get these metallic, shiny, and a really glossy surface. Yeah. And I think it needs two or three minutes to to change this box from a paper cardboard box into a really wonderful decoration object. Now you see, it's only one layer mm. outside of the box. Can dry this now. I put it on the side, and now we work glitter paste. You can work with the glitter paste with a spatula like this you like to do this I go with like this or it's easier with a sponge go with the sponge inside and you can do like this and you have a really wonderful thin layer of the gold glitter mm. wait I will show it with the right side to the to the oh, okay look now at I, that it's, it's only one, and it, it isn't dry. It's only one layer of the thin, really fine gold and gold shimmer. And you can do these, the, uh, the, the, the frame of the lid, you can do the same. Work with a sponge like this. And you have a thin, wonderful layer with the gold glitter. And, now the box is ready. Yay, look at this, beautiful. And in two minutes. In two minutes, I love that. Think how many you can do. Uh, we're approaching three quarters of the stock gone on the gold fine glitter paste, the bronze metallic acrylic, and your um, uh, 100 mil. Everybody of, did. Yes, thank you. There it is. Uh, 11.99, What did we say stock-wise again? Approaching three quarters, thank you, Molly, in my ear. Back to you, Blanche. Okay, now I would show you a, a quick demonstration uh, what the difference of our mixed media look bit. I start with the ochre. I put one layer of the ochre here on this, without any primer direct on the wooden blanket from our one day special. Yeah. And you see, it covers perfectly too, but it's a really a little bit transparent. There you go. Now, Look at that. Now I dry these, and then I put a second layer mm. with the burnt apple. Now, 
a little bit more time. <laughs> it doesn't take too long though, which is good. Oh, it Just while you're drying that then, we'll just show you what you're getting. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, these are brand new today, 1999-092-106. There you go. Lovely stuff. Back to you, Blanche. Second layer with the burnt amber. And when the, or before it dries, Spray a little bit water in the middle. Okay, like here. And then take a paper towel and uh, crumble the paper towel and then dip, uh, uh, remove the, the paint a little bit. Not perfectly on the edges but more in the middle. Yes, like these. Mm -hmm. And now we try these. Now we have a little bit of the gold glitter here. Yes. <laughs> it's just nice. It's inside of the water. <laughs> and it's a little bit time to dry. It's lovely because, again, it looks so aged, and I really like yes, that aged yes. weather look. Yes, I like this very much, too. And the, the, the third layer is black, and we do the same, and then we have the black edges, and it looks really old, like an old background. What's black? Now it's up. And here we do the same, more at the edges. And now we have to spray water. Yeah. We don't want a, a hard, um, a hard, a hard edges of the paint. Right. Oh, look at this. I love looking at this. Amazing. And now we do the same. Take a paper towel. Crump the tape, paper towel, and then remove the paint. Mm -hmm. Not really. Now you can do what you want. You put it, when you have come back, you can put it, then here you see all these crumbles and it's more aged. Yeah. Right. I think you have a one. It looks a little bit like leather. A what? Sorry, Blanche. It looks a little bit like leather. Oh, it does actually. Look at yes. you'd never think yeah. that that was an MDF plaque, would you? Yes. It's and when it's dry, you get a little bit of glossy surface, and it looks really old. Mmm. Definitely. Um, Blanche, you've got about three minutes. Okay. <laughs> uh, then I do a, a very small thing with these. Where we have. If we have something ready here, okay, we take this one. Hey, oh, it always matches. It's, this is, this border always matches to everything you do. And then we this other side, okay. And I will show you. One. This is the. Yes, I do this here on this side. This is the butterfly from the French label kit. Mm -hmm. And I do some, where is my gauze? I have some gauze here. Yeah, here, here. This is, this is the gauze. And oh, nice. I, yes, I color these with the same media liquids. And you can use these a little bit here. Up the side. And one of these flower on this. And now I take some, put, I put these um, crackle paste and go with the crackle paste. Uh -huh. 
like ear to be a little bit not too perfect like paint or something like this. And we can do this here too. Yeah. And perhaps something here. I think it's enough for three minutes. <laughs> I Thank will show you. It like Thank you so much, Blanche. Let's have a little look at that. Yeah, we'll see this. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. Blanche, I've really enjoyed myself. Thank you. You're welcome. And so we will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. bright and early. Yes. Wonderful stuff. Well, bless you. Um, have a good evening. Get, get a good sleep, Blanche. You too. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Oh, bye, lovely. Uh, and of course, that was Blanche live by Skype this hour. Uh, so we've literally got a few minutes just to have a look at the um, one day special. We are rapidly approaching 40% of the stock gone. They are exquisite molds. Now, these are the casts that are going to come out of the molds. Um, you've got these wonderful uh, ornate circles. You've got pine trees. I love this. You've got the frame. You've got the wreath. Look at that. I love that stone wall. And then the door and windows. Um, you've got the swirls, the flourish. And then, please, can we have one more look at the little, the little things? Because I love them. It's like my favourite. Um, they're your wonderful utensils to use in the kitchen. So what, what now? Um, Leone just said it. So it's 12, 4 and 20 blackbirds. Baking, baked in a pie, that's it. Because I don't know why, but it's just how that looks. It just reminds me of this. Um, so gorgeous. And then you've got, look at the little rolling pin. There's a little mitten. Amazing. You've got jars. I love this. Wouldn't these be nice, though, on a charm bracelet? I reckon you could do it. I really do. Uh, don't forget, you're also getting your uh, MDF plaques. Six. So you're getting two of the rectangles, two of the um, circles, and two of the ovals. Lovely. Uh, now, if you were to buy the, well, if you're buying the one day special, you've got a six pound saving. If you were to buy the molds on their own, that's a three pound saving. It's at the bottom of the screen and that three pound saving carries over. So actually you've got a nine pound saving on your one day special today. Um, shall we have a look at some of these samples? Yeah. There we go, because these are just beautiful. I love the colours that have been used. So these are using the casts from the moulds. Aren't they stunning? So you can see those lovely, I always call them cam cameos, but um, I think these would be lovely filled with resin. Where am I pointing to? It's over there. I'm on the wrong one, am I? Hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> there you go. These like filled with um, uh, all glossy accents with the backing and then they'll look lovely and shiny. And then here's our gorgeous lighter one. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And of course, using lots of Blanche's papers. You can see the moulds on there, those border moulds. Look at that, and that the circular one there, which could become a pendant if you wanted to. Um, lovely. £32.98 is the price. 319576. Uh, please do go to the website, check out the lovely time travel kit. Those gorgeous... Um, feet that we've got on extended delivery so just to clarify everything apart from the feet are being delivered from the 24th of november the feet are on extended delivery from the 26th of november absolutely adore all these beautiful products i know you'll love using them we'll see you after this break uh, coming up next uh, i'm with hayley Craft Yourself Silly, doing a spot of weaving. After that, you can watch a repeat of the one-day special and then it's made to surprise. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. 
Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others, and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy, and Pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Hayley. Yeah, that's Vince the Fox. Yeah. yeah that's um, Vince. See, Vince has been here. It's because you've been here from the very beginning. I have. For your sins. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So we used to see Vince 
you know, for quite a while. Yeah, back, he, he? he comes in for like the, the odd live appearance. Oh, that's you know, like good. A, an guest odd appearance. PA now and again. Yes, yeah. a guest appearance. <laughs> Love that. Right, so this hour has a different focus to the previous hour. We were on at five o'clock together, and I cannot remember what we did. Oh, yeah, we had advent calendars. We had advent calendars, yes, yes. but uh, we've got something slightly different different this mm -hmm. time. I'm still sewing one of the advent That's calendars because right. I quite enjoyed it so yeah. I just kept going. That's all right. But, <laughs> but we are going to be doing some weaving. Yeah, a bit of weaving. So first off, right, we've got our first kit. You've got the Craft Yourself Silly Weaving Bundle. So this one includes your starter loom set, uh, which you can get individually. Have a look on the website. Also comes along with the oval loom frame and then the twisted super chunky yarn now these will be the colors that you get these two choices of red so this is one option so is this good for beginners Hayley? Uh, yes so the chunky yarn means you can weave things really really quickly because oh, obviously good. it's it's really thick so it builds up a project quite quickly and uh -huh. um, so we've given you two uh, balls of that super chunky yarn I think they're 200 grams each. They're really quite... 250. Oh, even bigger. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> That's like 25% uh, extra. Excellent. From what I thought. Yeah. Um, so that's really nice, easy stuff to use. And it's really nice and easy if you don't maybe want to use it with the weaving. If you want to learn to knit or crochet, yeah. a good big pair of needles. And that goes a long way quite quickly that's nice and of course with the little with the starter kit all these pieces will just pop out nice and easily yes and um, so they're all designed to as uh, well for us for easy transport so they're all yeah. designed as one piece there's a little uh, bit that kind of holds them together on each loom so if you're just a little bit careful and, and just observe where they are mm -hmm. they'll just twist out really really easily so then you'll be left with five separate looms you've got the largest one on the outside which is a about equivalent to A3. Yep. There's another one in the center which is A4 and then you've got uh, three smaller looms uh, which are kind of two which are coaster size and then one teeny tiny one yep. just for fun little Aww. things. Very very cute. If you want this on its own it's at the bottom of the screen $22.99 but for only how much extra? £2.50 extra Oh, from the first flexi. I was looking at the screen going, eh? Um, for only £2.50 extra on your first flexi by payment, you can get the whole starter kit. There you go. 123079. Now, here we've got some more of this yarn. This is on a pick and mix. You're choosing any two. You can either go for two of the same colour or two different ones. You've got your beautiful burgundy. I love the dark grey. This one's classy. You've got the cream you can see under there navy nice deep navy and then you've got your bright red luscious so you're picking any two for 14.99 item number is 204 uh, 260 which way so i start this way okay <laughs> I'm always like, which way does Baker want me to move? Well, you see, I, I struggle with left and right the best of times. Well, it's because so it's always backwards uh, on the screen. Uh, well, even if I'm in a car, somebody says turn left, I have to go. Do you know how <laughs> I no, I, do you know how I remember what my which is my right hand? How? Is I mentally do the sign of the cross. Oh, no, I, I've, I've, I've tried everything, is. aside from right now my shoes. That, I think that's me. <laughs> That's my last kind of point of, of call for this because I think at, at this age, I'm, if, I, if I haven't learned it by now, it's yeah, not going to happen. Same. I'm just saying. <laughs> that right, way, then. that'll we've, do. We've got ten different options. So we've got our so lovely you've got your heart, heart and yeah. that's your octagon that's next to it. And where we go? We're going up. Then you've got uh, oval and circle <laughs> in the next one. Yeah. This is, it's a good job you're tall. It's a good job it wasn't me over there. Wait a minute, though. No, wait a minute. If I t wait, wait, wait. Let's see how. Let's see the difference if I take my shoes off. Hang on. Oh, not too much difference. That's pretty good. Oh, only a little bit. There um, you go. Yes. Then okay. you've got the diamond next to it, and it's more not a kind of traditional kind of uh, wonky square diamond. It's a. Uh, like like a, a gem diamond shape that we've yeah. given you uh, and then you've got your rectangle and square it's a good wiggle that thank that's, you that's top draw wiggling uh, and then hexagon and cloud do you know what I feel like with these boxes behind me all lit up yeah 
I'm sure there was a game show where there was somebody that used to like point to. Oh, I don't know. I've got no idea. Oh, where oh, yeah. <laughs> I, love that. I like it. He's going right to the in, spirit of I'm it now. I'm sure that there was like a, um, an assistant that used to like on a show like something with Bruce Forsyth or other people available. Maybe play. Maybe it was something like that. I don't know, but yeah. Oh. Anyway. Higher than a jack. <laughs> yeah. You see, now Baker's saying, oh, I know what you mean. It's going to annoy me. Okay, 12.99. Item number is 012049. If you can think of that game show, let me know, let me know. Now, got another bundle for you. Okay, the loom bundle. You're getting the big loom. Okay, start a loom set. And then you've got choices of your yarn, Okay. Brights are at the top, lovely. I, ooh, there's some really nice bright. Oh, this is super soft, Hayley. Yeah, this is uh, really nice yarn. It will always be a mixture. You will not necessarily get what you see on screen, but we'll always endeavour to, to make them either bright colours, pastel colours, neutral colours. So they, yeah. they'll kind of, they'll be what they say, yeah. but they may not be those exact balls. Yeah, good stuff. So this is your bright option. There we go. There's your bright option with the loom. Oh, and the pom-pom maker. Yes, the pom-pom maker makes a huge variety of sizes of pom-pom. I don't know where my littlest pom-pom's gone, but I've got a, a few of that them is here. Huge. I know, Look it's a whopper. That. That's Amazing. the biggest size that it will make. Uh -huh. And then uh, I've got kind of a variety of the other sizes that it will make as well. And there's Yay. another little tiny one down here. That's Ooh. cute, very cute. Um, so that's your first option with the brights. Um, then we've got our pastels. They're over here. So you get something like this, but like I said, they'll, they'll be the pastel colours. You're getting 10 100 gram balls. Marvellous. And then the last one is our naturals. And again, you'll get a re selection of something like this, which looks like the naturals. So don't forget, you get the loom. Uh, and you'll also get the pom-pom maker. Saving £9 on this selection. So the starter loom set is £22.99 on its own. The pom-paker... Pom-pakers. Pom-maker... <laughs> pom-pom maker... Sorry, I should have really helped you no, out there, right. shouldn't I? Pom-pom maker <laughs> is... Uh, what's that? £9.99 on its own, bottom of the screen. And the yarn, yarn balls are £14.99 on the road. This is too many numbers. This is what it is. But on screen for you, for any of those options, that made sense, it's 38.97. Now, if you just want the yarn on its own, same three options, the brights, the naturals, and the pastels. Again, we've got a nice, oh, they're half price, basically. Yeah. Very good deal indeed. I mean, three pounds for a 100 gram um, ball of yarn is not expensive. No, not uh, at but all. But because we buy them in such bulk, mm. we can bring you them at that really, really good deal, where it's like one pound 50 ball for a 100, 100 gram ball, uh, yeah. ball of wool. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. But, uh, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> late. <laughs> anyway, it's half price for each bundle, 14 689 701. Right. We've got 1.5 kilograms of basically assorted Yes, fabric. so these um, are some beautiful fabrics in here and it's a really nice mix because weaving with fabric is a really nice um, uh, way to do it. Rather than weaving with yarn all the time, it's nice to put fabrics in there, get different textures, get different looks, get... Um, it also bulks up much more quickly with mm. um, fabric in rather than uh, yarn as yeah. well. So you've got... It's just giving you options. So you'll get like satins or gansas, Yeah, cottons. there's all sorts. Again, it's, uh, it's uh, contents may vary. We can't guarantee what will be in there, but we always try and put a really good mix in there. You've done that, and that's only 9 99 Again, virtually half price. 599726 is the item number. Lovely. Next, we have got Funky Chunky Pick and Mix, which um, I'm not allowed to touch. No, well, you can. No, it's all right. You no. just can't mix the colours up. Yeah. I'm not going to mix the colours up. I won't. Um, <laughs> That was more the thing. I know what order they're in. Because okay, usually when we stand together, yeah. it's fine. Because I'm there and I know what order. And sometimes I can't see them from where I'm sitting. Got you. Uh, so I have to know what order they're in. Go on, uh, then. So what we have is we have red and but then we have red purple mix. Then that next favorite. one you are going to have to pull out because that's the pink grey mix. And that's a beautiful one because it's got 
Uh, give it a... Oh, this is going to end in tears, isn't it? There, you can see it from there. There you go. So there's uh, that really, really bright cerise pink, and there's a grey kind of mottled grey running through that as well. So that's a really nice one to go for. Right. Oh, yeah, you can see um, the grey there. And then the next one along, you've got the pink. Yep. And then you've got coral which is the brighter one of the two. Oh. And then next to yep. that, that really, really kind of pale one, the pale, really, really this pale the pink, that's the one we've called nude because okay. it's, um, uh, well, it, yeah. It's naked. Yeah, let's just leave that. Um, <laughs> then you've got beige. And then working our way up to the next level, we've got black. We're going to come back along the other way now. Okay. Um, Grey. And then purple. It's a really kind of soft purple, that one. Oh, it's it is. It's really very nice. It's, yeah. Um, and then the next one along we've got is rust. Oh, oh it was going Alex. so well. Yes. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Just put them back in the right order. I will. I will. <laughs> you've got rust, copper. copper. On top of the copper, you've got aqua. Yeah. And then that is royal. And then you've got navy. And then you've got olive green. Yay! <laughs> 250 gram balls each and you're picking any two 16 pounds and 98 pence uh 683012 are you listening to what baker yeah says? i'm just ignoring him he, but it's just because yeah. you baker in my ear you don't know what we, we had another late show like this didn't we and that, was that's it giddy? One, that, yeah, that's the one where I pulled out the that sort of burgundy one and stuck oh, it on my head. Was it that? That one. No, okay. I'm probably not allowed to do <laughs> so this. So these are really, really chunky. And um, this one I've, I've had a few bits off of. But they come as kind of hanks rather than balls. Yeah. So you can see there it's kind of tied together in this kind of big old loop. Right. So you can pull it off a, a big oh, run good. at a time. And this stuff's brilliant for arm knitting as well oh, as yeah. kind of crochet and things like that. So I might undo this one. We might do a little bit of arm knitting as well if we've got some time. Okay, lovely And stuff. when it comes, actually, I'm going to show you this now while I've got it like this. Okay. When it comes, if uh, once you're finished with it, if you twist it round and then just loop one end through the other, that's how you get it back into ah. that kind of nice ball shape that it comes in. Yeah. Rather than the big squiggly mess that you end up with. <laughs> right. Uh, so you're picking any two for sixteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Six eight three zero one two. Oh, what was that? Who thinks it's that? Spencer. Hello, Spencer. Okay. Yeah. So wait, wait. So Spencer thinks it's Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> And Jane thinks Celebrity Squares. It could oh, be. Well, I, I think those. it might be Celebrity Squares. Really? <laughs> where's the Where's the music from oh, the no, Deal World music? The Deal World music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Baker's on it now. Spencer and Jane, you've started something. Love it. <laughs> Have you? Can you? Oh, come on! Here we go. Oh, he's found it. Oh, this one. No, oh no, we want the slow. one off the. Um, Is that the deal wheel music? Oh, we I want don't the know. one off the, the little where the little man's standing there with his little microphone on a stick. I feel like I'm doing the dance. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Thank you, thank you, everybody, for emailing in. That's made my night. I am not going to get to sleep tonight. I am hyper. What we do next? <laughs> Weaving book. Oh, yeah, we've got a book. Um, oh, obviously, we've got all the weaving things. Um, and we've got a fantastic little weaving book, which explains all of your um, kind of weaving stitches, let's call them, um, and all sorts of different tips and techniques as well. So it takes you through materials. It takes you through different actual weaving stitches. It takes you through how to stop, how to start, how to add bits, how to tape it away, how to leave gaps, um, all sorts of things, how to join pieces a fantastic kind of um, library a lovely of book. information as well and lots of diagrams rather than pictures because yeah. I think sometimes with this kind of thing it's a lot easier to see in a diagram than sometimes you can demonstrate in a picture. Wonderful, that's only 9 99 I love that little book, it's really good. Uh, and item number is 501976. Right, then we've got the advent calendars. These were on the five o'clock show. Yes, so now, we have a, a few left. So we thought we would bring them back. So um, the way that these work is like any normal advent calendar. There are 24, these are actually 24 little boxes in there. And in each little box, there is, um, for the first two, a piece of fabric. So um, the cosy, uh, what have we got? Oh, is the, is the 
I'm sure we've got more of the cosy winter ones because that's the one I'm going to demonstrate. We've got um, the hot chocolate one though, haven't we? We have, uh, but the cosy winter vibes one, that's the one that is, because um, the, let's start at the beginning. Right, okay. hot chocolate hugs, that's the one that um, is still up behind me and this is one we have to kind of look away if you want it to be a surprise yes. for Christmas. So look away, uh, but <laughs> that's the quilt that it will make. You'll get um, a different piece every day, and every three days that gives you a block. And right. then every six days that gives you a full row. And then you start building it up to get the final quilt that is behind me. Close Just your there. eyes if you, if you want it for yourself. Close your eyes, close your oh, eyes. Oh, it's too late now. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but we've done two options in this. This is the um, hot chocolate hugs, which comes uh, coloured in and kind of ready to make into a quilt. There is another version, which is the cosy winter vibes. Now, I think that one might be unextended by now because I think it disappeared in the previous show. So um, uh, that's the one I'm going to demonstrate. Okay, with. in a minute, I'll just show you the um, the. So this is how they this is how they um, come to you. Look at this. And inside the little boxes, here is the piece of fabric. There you go. And take it out. And then this is your first little piece. There you go. There you go. That's your first piece there. That's the smallest piece. Right. Actually, if you go and have a look in number three, okay. that's kind of your biggest piece. I and feel you can like we are playing game shows. <laughs> Well, we've only opened a couple of them, so yeah. it doesn't spoil too much of the surprise. If you obviously, if you're buying them for some, we 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 made the biggest piece of fabric we could fit in that size of box really? because I <laughs> I folded it and folded it and folded it and just to see how thick I could get it before yeah. it wouldn't fit in the box, and that's the biggest piece I could get in that small box. Oh, marvelous! <laughs> so again, I'm going to say to you because I've got a I've got a card here showing that um, basically what the quilt will look like. If you are going to purchase this for yourself and you want it to be a lovely surprise for yourself... It's like another game show, isn't it? It is. All the game shows. <laughs> Here we go. If you so, don't want to see what it is, yeah, look then, away now. That's right. Ready? Because <laughs> I'm going to show it now. Okay. So that's the hot chocolate hugs one. Yes. And then um, I've, I've done you a lovely one. You can just flip round, uh, which then you'll see the cosy winter oh, vibes one. Then, then you have to look away now. Okay. So this is for the cosy <gasps> winter. Quick, hide it. What, what, what? Hide it. Put it down. Hide oh, it. sorry. Sorry. <laughs> right. Okay. Cosy, <laughs> cosy winter vibes. Um, now an extended <laughs> delivery, 16th of November. Now look away because I'm going to show you this one. Okay. Ready? Go. So this one's got different characters. There's a couple of characters that are the same, but this one's got different characters in as well. So, um, And this one we've done as an embroidery piece. So yeah. the way that this one works is that there's a kind of a, a kind of brownish grey outline on all of these. Mm -hmm. So if you just wanted to um, have something quite understated, then you could absolutely do that, put something plain between them if you wanted to, and just stitch, and just stitch them together. Oh, but nice. they are all available as individual pieces. Mm -hmm. I've got such fluffy wool under here, it's getting everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so you can stitch in each of these if you want to. So you don't necessarily have to put them all together into yep. a, a piece. You could just use the individual panels in their own right. So this is the hedgehog one. And I've just been adding uh, some bits and pieces onto his hat. Hey, what is there it him? You go. I'm not sure. So um, I've put just, I've just used two colours so far. I've just used a little bit of pink there and down the side of the hat flaps. And then I'm just putting the, the crosses in in the darker blue and the crosses that go across there in the dark blue. So this is a really, really nice, easy one. And if you're a beginner, it's a lovely one to stitch because you can just do it all in straight stitch if you want to. Yeah. If you're um, more advanced, then you can start playing with all your yeah, fancy lovely. bits and pieces and start building it up and up. But all you need to do is literally follow the lines. We've made sure the lines are really kind of uh, small and coverable, if yes. you know what I mean, because sometimes you can get printed ones. Are you just having a little No, no, because I just need, wanted to mention as well. Before oh, the we other one? On. Yeah. Right, okay, you do that, and I'll put this away and get rid of some weeding. Okay, then. right. Just to say, because the third one, um, in, in this one, it's actually you get a whole lovely assortment of applique pieces. So again, we'll just show you one, but they're all winter themed, aren't they? 
the themed, yes. So you can uh, you can make as many things as you like with those. Okay, so each option there is twenty nine ninety nine. Item number is eight eight five one three zero. We've got some more yarn available for you. Five options here. This one is the green set. Then we go on to the blues. Then there's the naturals, pinks, red, orange. Oh, Molly likes those, she says. <laughs> yep. You get five balls for $9.99. Again, that's ever such good quality, Hayley. 100 gram balls. Contents may vary in the colourways, but like yeah, but they'll be. always be red themed, they'll yeah. always be pink themed, you know, exactly. that kind of thing. So your, your colour theme will remain, but the actual uh, balls themselves will vary. And our mixed yarn bundles are also busy. Choosing from the pastels. These are the naturals or neutrals. And then moving along, we've got the brights. Each option, 14.99, 6, 8, 9, 7, 0, 1. Over to you, Hayley. Okay, so um, I've got some weaving already on this loom and I'm using some of that uh, funky chunky yarn. Now this is 100% acrylic, which is great because sometimes um, if you have allergies or you know somebody with allergies, um, they can't kind of handle the wool rovingly. Are you just right. opening all the boxes? No, no, I'm putting it back. <laughs> I'm listening to you. I can <laughs> multitask. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> She's opening all the boxes. Mm -hmm. um, so this is 100% acrylic, which means it's really nice and soft to work with, but it's also hypoallergenic, which right. is a fantastic thing. That's so good. Um, I've been just doing some different kind of stitches on here, mixing between the uh, funky chunky yarn and the normal kind of yarns as well. So you can kind of create a lot of texture with this because you can, uh, you know, put lots of different layers yeah. into it. But one of the other things I did want to show you was uh, the heddle bars. Let me just move the book out of the way because uh, these are available on the show as well. And um, these are, are fantastic because these really help you with your weaving because if I just do that, what happens is it lifts every other one. You just pop that across. It lifts, lifts every other one up. So when you're weaving, you can get in between all of those quite easily to do your kind of alternate warp yeah. and weft. Um, but then if you want it to go the other way, let me just put those back where they should be because I shuffled them along accidentally. That. But if you want to go the other way, so <clears throat> at the minute, this is the one that's on top. Yeah. So I let it go down and then turn it over and it lifts the opposite set of threads up. Mm. So it means that you can weave much more speedily. Yeah. And you're getting a set of three in there. So if you want to go for, that's your kind of uh, alternate ones. And these are designed specifically to go with our um, looms because yeah. um, your heddle bar needs to be specific to the spacing between your threads. So this one uh, is your kind of standard one and then you've got your double one so this will lift and just get it in position that was a bit slack there and there you go so this will lift uh, every kind of uh, third one up so one up two down one up two down one up two down all the way across and then when you flip it over it will lift up a completely different set so that's your double one and then you've got the half one. So the half one on here won't work terribly well because I haven't double threaded my loom. But if I was to double thread it, which means just putting two threads on each peg, then that would do the same thing for those and it would split them out for you. So you've got much easier access when you're doing your weaving. So they're really, really handy tools to have those ones and well worth popping in your basket if you're going for either the bundle with the uh, super chunky and the oval frame or the one with the starter bundle and the pom-pom loom will work with either of those because right. they're all the same frames that I'm working on now. Okay. So um, I'm just going to do a couple more of these little knots just to show you. And then we actually might do some um, arm knitting with this funky chunky because it's such nice stuff. It's such nice stuff. Um, and you can see I'm kind of creating almost like, it almost looks like a plait, doesn't it? This oh, yeah, piece here. yeah almost it looks like a plait because I'm kind of looping it one way and then looping it back when I'm coming in the opposite direction the other way um, and this is sumac which I've got there 
as you can see, there's instructions in the weaving book of how to do all of these. So the way that I'm pushing this to, or pulling this together is I'm going um, around each of those individual strands and I'm going kind of over the top and I'm coming back underneath each of them to create effectively a, a knot on each one. Yep. So I've gone all in one direction coming um, to the left and then I'm coming back in the opposite direction coming to the right and that's what giving me that kind of almost arrow effect that's working its way along there. So the way I'll show that quickly while we've got the overhead is I'm coming under there and then while I've got this loop I'm going to push pop it over to the other side so that when it comes and pulls tight it comes underneath so I've gone over the top and my um, my the rest of my thread or my yarn is coming underneath to create that kind of um, left to right kind of upward stroke there so yeah. it's kind of forming that plait as you go so you can create all sorts of different textures we've got some raya knots on the bottom there and that's what's creating that kind of lovely tasseled effect i love that uh, this, it's it's very nice and very very fluffy as well sorry i moved that out of your way and um, now this acrylic uh funky chunky as well you can needle felt with it oh oh yeah that makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. because it's the same kind of thing it's a much finer fiber less um uh, so it does take a little bit more to work together mm -hmm. than wool because it's not the fibers aren't as barbed but um that works brilliantly for that as well so uh, if you can give me a second i'll unravel some of this bad boy and we might do a little bit of uh, arm knitting with that one. Oh, the weaving bundle, righty ho. Uh, right then, <clears throat> you're getting the lovely starter loom set. That's worth $22.99 on its own. You're getting the oval loom frame. That's worth $12.99 on its own. And you're getting two of the lovely, lovely chunky yarn. Twisted Super Chunky Yarn. You, these are the colours that you're going to get, these reds. Um, they are also on a pick and mix, but anyway, this set is available on two flexi buy payments of 25.49. One, two, three, zero, seven, nine is your item number. Now, if you want the Loom Bundle, here it is. It's the Loom Bundle, which is the Loom itself your pom-pom maker and 10 of the different colour yarn balls. Um, contents will vary um, slightly but if you go for the brights you will get bright colours etc or nearly nearly. So we've got the brights or the naturals or the pastels those are your options. So basically you're getting this, this and then choose your option of the yarn. 38 pounds and 97 pence nine pound saving now the yarn balls on their own are proving to be really nice and popular okay brights have now overtaken our pastels you're liking those they're nice aren't they there are 100 gram balls and you're going to get 10 of them each option is 14.99 half price because you've got a 15 pound saving 689701 is the item number uh, you can call us, of course, 01733 or go to the website at hachanda.com. Oh, we've had a, a question. Okay, go, okay, go for it. I'll see what I can do. No, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I've listened to the okay, question. Okay, thanks, I'll sorry. The question. the question has been, uh, which looms do the heddle bars work with? Now, we have spaced all of our looms so that they will work with all of these heddle bars including the shaped looms i have one of the uh, shaped looms here and that works with this one the thing <coughs> with the shaped looms is you do need to leave yourself uh, a little bit more space just because i haven't put this one particularly tight as you can see so the heddle bar isn't working terribly well on this one but um you do need to, you can see there if you just look at this side there you go you can see it, it's it's kind of putting them it's separating them but you can see this one's kind of been uh, not uh, threaded terribly tight so it's not working as well as it could do but it, they are designed to work with all of the looms so the half spaced one that's the one that is best for the shaped looms because we've put those tighter together and um, 
the normal spaced one or the half spaced one or the double spaced one will go for the A3 loom which is within the starter set. So, And also it depends on how you thread your looms as well because if you double thread that loom then you'll be able to use your half spaced one so you know, it, it, no. they will work with yeah. most of them. And I think, that, say that. I think that was from Jane. Thank you very much, Jane. Okay, so I've got some of the um, Funky Chunky. So this is the one that um, is more like a, a roving type of, of wool. So it, it kind of, it's not spun together. It's kind of a, quite open and it's just lots of fibres just with a little twist in them to hold them together. So to start off for some uh, arm knitting with this, we are just going to kind of loop it over as if we're creating a knot and then create a slip knot with that and just pull that through so we've got a nice loop to start us off and that's going to go onto my wrist i'm not going to pull it tight because i need to be able to get it on and off so from there we're going to create a loop twist it and pop it on my arm twist it and pop it on and um, we'll just get about 10 stitches is on this here effectively so we casting can... on yeah yeah it's <laughs> effect as if you were knitting you're, you're casting on so uh how many have i got there so have a oh i could get Sle sleeves up, yeah, sleeves up. Here we go. <laughs> Have I got ten yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, one more. Okay. And then, effect. You need to kind of keep an eye on this. I would have it uh, like I've got it here, out on a table in front of you, so you can kind of pull it off in in coils. I've got it here, and it's yeah. all kind of nicely opened out. And I'll keep it like that, so you can kind of pull it off in coils rather than trying to to kind of mess about with it so we're going to take the um the stitch that we want to create in this hand take that one over the top and then take this one over and then we're just going to tighten it up just a touch to get it started off so that goes into that hand comes over the top and then we take the stitch across so uh wool into the hand that the stitches are over the top take it across I love watching there, this. It's over cool. the top, take it across. And I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit as we go. So, And once you get the hang of it, you can pick up some serious speed on this. And you can get, you know, a, a good scarf or blanket going quite quickly. I'd probably say to, to make a decent sized blanket, you're going to need two or three um, uh kind of balls of it or hanks of it because it will grow quite quickly but because this um is quite a nice open oh hang on that one's going on to there there we go so I'll come back the other way so the hand that you are transferring the stitches from that is the one that needs to hold on to the stitch it comes over the top and then transfers across so this one hangs onto it over the top transfers across I'm quite mesmerised by this. <laughs> it's really cool. It's quite, it's quite fun. Now this is going to give me quite an open weave on this because it's uh, of the size. Oops, hang on, I didn't transfer that one across. There we go. Last one. There you go. Last one over there. Transferred across. So you can see it's starting to kind of come together down there already. But this will be quite an open weave because it's. Um, it's quite a thin yarn but what i would definitely recommend is if you are going for the two on the pick and mix double it up so you're using two at once yeah and that will work with either the uh, twister or the super chunky ah okay good good advice so i'm gonna i'm gonna put another couple of rows on this and then uh we where am i going this one onto here that's it and then uh, if you want to come back to me we'll see it kind of coming together and a bit more Blankety. Oh, we've had Blankety a word. We've had a picture in from Linda. Want to see? <gasps> I'd love a picture from Linda. Uh, she, oh, look at these just coming onto oh. screen. Um, she's been using the super chunky, she says. There you go, you see? You can do all sorts with it. It isn't just for weaving. It is for kind of all sorts of crafts. That's crochet, isn't it? That is crochet. Yeah, and the, look at their little faces. I wonder who these are for, Linda. Oh, her, for her son. Oh, it's her son's dog. I see. Right. Maybe it's based on their real dog. Maybe. Know. Who knows? But it's for her son. That's gorgeous. Thank you for sending that in because it's also it's quite late at night. So we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Linda. Marvellous. Am I doing a recap? Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> right, we've got our weaving loom set. Okay, so you'll get the loom, and you've got all the different sizes of the loom. You'll also get your oval frame, and then you'll get these two colours. They, these are the definite colours that you'll get. Super chunky, 250 grams each for these. 50 pounds and 98 pence, 123079 is the item number. Then the loom bundle, so you can go for this, but this loom again that comes with the pom-pom maker, there you are, and then you just need to choose from the drop-down box whether you want to go for the 10, gra 10 sorry, balls of the brights or the pastels or the naturals. Um, so these bundles on their own, we'll just pop them on. Uh, brights are still in the lead, 14 99 for your 10 hundred gram balls. Uh, contents will vary, but you'll get, you will get bright colours, basically, or you will get pastel colours, or you will get um, the, uh, the naturals or neutrals. 689701. Now, the contents may vary bundle. Of, it's going to be beautiful fabrics for you to weave with. Um, okay. I'm going to, um, is that all right? I literally, I was like, is this okay? Well, so just so you know, because you might get confused at home, we have two mollies on the floor. Not literally on the floor. Like, they've not, like, <laughs> got fallen asleep. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, we've we got don't Molly in my ear, who's my producer, and Molly, who's in the studio, um, flooring for us. And I was just, I looked at Molly in the studio like, is this okay? Because it's late at night. <laughs> Other Molly's going, yeah, do it. <laughs> look, look, I mean, so you might get a nice, big piece of is this like a satin this one uh, yes there's all sorts in there mm, um, oh, and I, obviously this. I can't kind of uh, guarantee yeah yeah but there is always a mixture and uh, they're always beautiful fabrics and they're absolutely perfect for for weaving um, we're gonna do some foundation piecing next week or the week after I, d I don't know which day it is mate so uh, when we do that they're brilliant for that as well because you can add quite a kind of a lot of texture and interest to your work by adding alternative fabrics in lovely you got might get some cottons in there some organza some satin oh look how neon this is oh this is this is a bit of lycra i think oh. <laughs> bit of straight i love a bit of neon <laughs> cheers you up though doesn't it yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like yeah. not convinced. There was a massively neon piece of cardboard before I found. I thought, oh, I don't think I've seen cardboard in that kind of before. No. There you are. So that's like a nice idea of what you're going to get. Uh, a £9.50 saving here. Uh, it's uh, just 9 99 Item number is 599-726. There you are. Uh, then we've also got... Oh, I'm not very good at this. We've got... Oh, there you are. Funky Chunky Pick and Mix. Right, let's see if I... Shall we see if I can remember? See, go on, go for it. Okay. I'll, I'll bail you out if you can't. <laughs> Red. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strong start, that. <laughs> That's a strong start. I love it. Now, the trouble is I can't remember what this one was. Red and pink. Red and pink. <laughs> pink and grey. Uh, we've got just pink. <laughs> <laughs> Coral, we've got nude, yeah. beige, uh, black, Molly, Molly, don't help me, uh, black, and then we've got grey, and then we've got purple, and then we've got burgundy. Rust. Oh, rust. Close. What's this one then? Copper. Oh, okay. That's the one copper. I'm working with. We haven't, I don't think we've got a huge amount of the copper, okay. so you may have to be quick no, yeah, that with limited that one. Stock. Turquoise. Uh, jade. Oh. Blue. Royal. Oh. Navy. Yeah. What goes in martinis? Olive. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I was going, I was looking at it, going, well, it's kind of a mossy colour. Uh, that's only really five out of ten, really, isn't it? Could do better. <laughs> <laughs> could, could try harder. <laughs> uh, but you're picking any two, and they're two hundred and fifty gram balls. There you are. Uh, we've also then got the weaving book. Been busy this evening. Oh, sorry. There you are. A little flick through. Weaving techniques. What have we got in here? You've got your, your glossary. And then you've got your dressing the loom, tension and density, 
material selection, the finishing. Is it rye knots? Rye, yep. Oh, right. Plain weave, twining. Oh, tassels. Tassels. <laughs> Ooh, tassels. Well, I like tassels. <laughs> Ear, tassel earrings were really in fashion a little while ago. I don't know if they still are. But I don't know. Oh, Molly in my ear said she has loads of them. I there digress. Nine ninety nine for this lovely little book. Um, five zero one nine seven six. Ooh, is the item number? There we are. I've nearly then, made a scarf. You've nearly finished it off. I've nearly made a scarf. Hey, this wasn't a full um, hank. Look, I've only got this little bit left. Um, uh, this wasn't a full hank because this one's been used for other demonstrations. This was about ooh, two thirds. Right. But I've nearly got a scarf. <laughs> that looks really good though. You did that really quickly. It is really. It's a really <coughs> quick technique, this. And I reckon by the time you've done the advent calendars, I can nearly get this finished off. Oh, you want off. me to do the advent calendars? Do it. Go on. Then I, I reckon I can get this nearly finished off. Okie dokie. Advent calendars. You've got three different options. This option is the. Um, Hang on, this one, this first one though, is the, thank you, hot chocolate hugs. It shows you actually on the box how, how the quilts, how the blocks are going to work out. Inside this one, you've got some lovely pieces of material that have kind of got, how would you describe the colours in it? Um, they're quite kind of pastely, wintry colours, yeah. I think, is the best way to go for that. Nice. Um, so if you want to... If you're going to treat yourself to this advent calendar, so you're treating yourself so you want it to still be a surprise, uh, look away now. <laughs> right, we are currently showing the quilt for anybody who's buying this as a gift for somebody else. Lovely, thanking you. Then, the next option that you've got, uh, this one is on extended delivery. Cozy winter vibes. So this is the one that is more kind of embroidery based. So yeah. you are getting eff effectively 24 different projects. And if you think about that, for the price, it's just over a pound a project. Very good. Very good point. Yeah. And you've got something that it will make at the end of it as well. Yeah. So double bonus, double yeah. bubble. And again, I'm going to show you, uh, if you want this for yourself, look away now. So it's a surprise. Look away now. There we go. And thanking you. <laughs> and the last one, we've got applique templates in here. There, I won't open them up. Um, we'll leave them all as a surprise. But they're winter themed, aren't they? Yes, they are. So they're uh, the type of shapes that are in there. Uh, there's a couple of angels in there. There's a couple yes. of stars in there. There's mm. all kind of wintry themed ones. Marvelous. And I made this point earlier. I love the boxes. I think you could colour these boxes. And re-gift them. Well, that's it. You could fill it again <coughs> next year and gift it to somebody else, couldn't you? <coughs> like that. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Item number is eight eight five one three zero. Uh, let's have a look at the website. You can shop by brand. Uh, craft yourself silly. Here's all the wonderful balls of wool. Don't forget those different loom shapes. Uh, there's that one point five kilograms of lovely fabrics. Ah, yeah, here are the heddle bars. You're getting all three for $12.99. Five-star reviews there. Oh, also some seven-day savers. Uh, more, more yarn, actually, there. Okie dokie. How are you getting on, uh, Hayley? I'm almost there. This is, you can just see it kind of slowly creeping up the table as the last little bit that I have. But it's worth me doing this because then, uh, because I'm almost there, I can show you how to cast off right. as well. Because that's the other thing. It's all well and good kind of, you know, whipping through loads of stitches. But then what happens when you get to the end? Have we got enough time? Um, I've got, we've got 10 minutes. It's okay. We are, uh, we're getting there. So, um, how much is left? Oh, oh. Not much. Okay. So I think what I will do is just uh, perhaps one more row and then we will uh, tighten it. We'll finish it off. So one more time, I will show you how to do this. So once you've got your um, row of stitches on your arm, you take the stitch that you're going to create and put it in the row that you're kind of transferring from. You come over the top of your, the hand that's got it and then lift that stitch off onto the other arm and then I'm just using that to pull the tension tight and away we go so we've got one this is our last row of stitches and then we are going to uh, 
just cast off. So let me just do, I've got four or five more. One, two, three. This looks so cosy. Four, five. Okay, so now we're going to cast off the stitches. And to do that, I'm going to hang on to this, take that one over that, but then I'm going to put this loop back on because I'm going to come over that loop and then just keep coming over the previous loop to be able to cast it off. Oh, hang on, I've got myself in a knot. There we go. Right, so uh, where's my old loop gone from this side? There we go. That's that one there. This is this one. There we go. So you can either just take this all the way through those loops, yeah. and that is one way to do it, or you want to cast uh, off by kind of one going over the next. And what that will do is kind of create... A, oh, I've done it. Oh, I've done it the wrong way around. Ah, oh, right. Now, I'd, ra I'd rather show this, actually, because if you do go wrong, I need to show you how to fix it and pick it back up. So... I've got back to where I was, where I had all of my uh, stitches, and I'm going to pick those back up, pop them back onto my arm, and then I can go ahead and fix it That's from cool. there. Yeah. So it's, a, it's an easy enough one to fix. You don't need to worry about it too much. I'm going at this the wrong way, and I just have to have a little think to make sure I'm going the right way, which one I'm going over which one, because it, it is just as simple as looping one over the other. But... I think I need well, to come at it. It's nearly bedtime. Yeah, it's nearly bedtime, and I think I've gone at it the wrong way. So I think I might need to transfer this across. No, that's not it. I've done it wrong. What have I done wrong? Oh. No worry. I've forgotten. <laughs> it is quite late. That's it, a good point. it is not in the weaving book, but I will fix it. Give us a minute. <laughs> How long have I got? Seven minutes. Okay. Do, do a recap. I'll work it out <laughs> and I'll come one. back to you. <laughs> okay, let's have a little look. Uh, this is how you can shop by brand. Uh, when you go onto the website, the landing page in the top left, it says brands from memory. And then you can go to that into that section and then you'll find C in the alphabet and then go to Craft Yourself Silly. Let's have, how many pages are there, I wonder? Oh, have a guess. Oh, it does say at the top. There you go. 26. You have brought us a lot. Got that Apparently. much stuff on there. Apparently. We'll, we'll just keep... We'll just keep <laughs> Maybe we need to it. speak to somebody about that. That <laughs> seems a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm just perusing on what we've got here. Look at this. Still going, what are those things in the centre? Oh, USBs. Okay. Highlighter tape. I've never seen that before. Can you bring know. it to us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, Frank the Duck. Oh, I know. We could find the video. <laughs> <laughs> Just to play us out. No. <laughs> no. No, Frank. How many, fr how many Instagram how many Frank followers? Have we, um, I don't know. He's got, he's got over 200 now. Has he? Yeah, it's a she as well. Oh. Did yeah. You, so did you find so out we might get, late? we might get baby ducks in, <gasps> uh, in the spring. Oh. Yeah. She's got I, a friend called Teddy P. I've got no idea. It's late. I've forgotten. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will... Um, I will sort this out and I will go and post a, um, uh, a video on either the Hayley Smith Sews Facebook page or our Crafty Self Silly YouTube. Right. That's what I will do. Because I've I was forgotten, just thinking this morning. Hey, say that again. I've forgotten. Don't worry, we all do that. I remember. I I'd was... rather just fess up than bluff it out. No, I remember because I, <laughs> I love doing and I harp on about it a lot French knots. I love doing them. And then one day I was like, uh, live on air, I was like, oh, I'll do a French knot for the life of me I couldn't <laughs> get it right because I'm always half I know I've done it. I know that all I've got to do is loop one over the other but something's not quite going right don't worry because we can play what was now what were the two options of the, I've got uh, it I've got it <gasps> we've got more come in I've got strike it strike it lucky oh I right Hayley's it. got it apparently oh, fixed it right 
So what you're doing is you're taking the one in front over the next one. No, that's not right again. I've looped them all together. <laughs> This show is going oh, amazing. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Who said strike it lucky? Oh, that's top, middle or bottom, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right. Emma, Emma, yeah, because that was top, middle or bottom. Yeah. And what, yeah, Molly in my ear is too, just too young to remember any of these. And what were the other two? Um, Wheel of Fortune, that was by Jane. Yeah, I somebody think. else has said Oh, that uh, was by that one. Spencer, that's it. See, I wonder if it's Celebrity Squares, because that makes sense, doesn't it? That sort of, that reminds me. But I love, thank you for your suggestions. That's fabulous. Are we doing this then? Okay, we're going to play, what is it, Celebrity Squares? I wonder who hosted that as well. Okay. I want to say Paul Daniels. So we've got the heart. That's the music we were The at. octagon. Octagon? Yes. Thanking you. Uh, we have got the um, oval and the circle. We've got the star. Here is the diamond. Oh, yeah, it doesn't look like a gemstone. And then here we've got the square and the rectangle. And we've got the hexagon and the cloud. <laughs> At 1299, <laughs> Have I've you got, got it. it? I have definitely got it. Absolutely going, certain. Are you absolutely sure? Absolutely certain. <laughs> <laughs> so, 59th time lucky. <laughs> your outer one goes over your next one. And then your outer one, because uh, you always want it to be kind of the one that's on, right. Okay, which is the easiest way to explain this. This one, so the one that's on your arm has got to go underneath to kind of catch that knot. So what you will be always doing is you'll be kind of taking... Uh, Hang on, let me slide that off. So this one, which is the one that was from my arm, is going to go through and be the only stitch remaining to take the next one. So this is going to go through and that's going to be the only stitch remaining. So that's going to keep create almost like a chain stitch along the top. I do not know why I could not get that before. It just whatever it, I was doing, it was not computing in my brain. Um, but yeah, it is quite simple. There you go. Last one. Yay! And then, <laughs> yay! <laughs> and then you'll be yay! able to. <laughs> yeah, I've created quite a big bit. Considering that's only kind of uh, two thirds of a, a hank of yarn, then you could either make yourself quite a nice, uh, you know, you, uh, you easily create a scarf from one oh, hank. Am I sure? But if you've got two, because I don't know, can Chris? <clears throat> can you do an over the top one, please? Thanks. Looks an like a over fishing the net. top one. There you go. Looks like a net like that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But super soft. Yeah. Uh, so really easy to make blankets, scarves, really, really simple things. But you can do, there's loads of tutorials on um, uh, online about doing more involved stitches than this. And that's just your kind of plain knit pearl stitch. Because you can see the back gives a completely different effect with those kind of lines in there as well. Yay. Thank you, Hayley. Oh. You're done in, aren't you? Well, I just don't know what day it is anymore. <laughs> Nobody does in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nobody does. Oh, if it's not just me, then no, that's fine. No, oh, okay, I have trouble on. with the time of the day. I'm going to go and play with the ducks tomorrow. <laughs> you, what, sorry? I'm going to go play with the ducks tomorrow That'll in be the nice. shed. There you go. When yeah. are you next back in and what are you bringing? Uh, mon no. Today is Monday. S Saturday. Right. And it's Fabric Freedom, one day special. Oh, you're doing a one day special. I am. Make sure you turn up on the right day. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will ring me if I'm not here. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. <laughs> lovely. Uh, you can, of course, order after the hour. We've got lots of lovely bundles. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the madness this evening or car crash TV. <laughs> well, a little bit. But I'm always quite happy to make mistakes. No, no, I don't, I don't mind at all. I'm talking all about do. me as well. And we all forget. No, <laughs> I'm talking about me as well, so don't you worry. So do please place your orders. Um, join us tomorrow. We'll be back, hopefully, after we'll I will see. be. No, you know, you'll I'm be playing off, mate. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's fine. I will see you tomorrow in the afternoon. I think Adam's in first thing bright and early. And, of course, at 8am, we've got the One Day Special. Thank you again. Lovely. We'll see you next, well, this week. Coming up next, we have got the Blanche One Day Special. 
after that it's made to surprise and late into the evening when I will be asleep with stamps away. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head, so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda.
as expected, we had a super busy launch of Blanche's one day special. Well, to be honest, not just the one day special, right across the board of all these beautiful, beautiful items. Now, we've already had three sellouts. Uh, one of them is back on an extended delivery. Uh, so it is the embellishments here, which are the metal feet there. We have managed to get some more. I love these feet. Uh, so it's an additional two days um, shipping. So from the 26th of November, I'm loving these. But shall we look at the one day special? Now, we don't have the actual molds here in the studio because they are over with Blanche. But what we have got are the casts. So you can see what you will be making. Now, you're going to get 10 molds which make 23 individual casts. Look, these are some of my favorites. I love these diddy little things. Look, there's a mitt there, there's a, you know, pot, there's a little spoon. You've got a wreath. You've got some windows with shutters. I love the texture on this. Isn't this absolutely divine? Now, as well as the molds, you will also be getting six plaques here. Now, on the one day special itself, there is a six pound saving. However, if you were to just go for the molds by themselves, which are at the bottom of the uh, screen, that's another three pound saving. And that, it's my little hand gesture that's become a thing now. So that three pound saving carries over. And that means you get, you actually are getting a nine pound saving. Now, are we allowed to have a look at some of these beautiful samples? Because they are absolutely stunning. Look at what you can do. I mean, how elegant, how exquisite, how, I almost feel like, like that one's slightly Victorian. There's something so wonderful about it. And then look at this sample with those wonderful cameos. They are absolutely gorgeous. Now, without further ado, um, live via Skype. Hello, Blanche. How are you? I'm good. I'm so pleased to be working with you again, albeit from across the pond. <laughs> We are here in our studio and I would like to show you, we set up the whole studio with our wonderful product. Look at this. Um, Blanche, this is my idea of heaven. I feel like I'm going... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I feel, feel like I'm going back in time. Just look at all these samples. Wow, Blanche, you've worked your socks off, but you have created a room of beauty. I want to live there. Oh, thank you very much. Here you see all the wonderful samples uh, combined with papers. This Everything is made with the ODS in combination with different papers or decoupage kit. Oh my goodness, we're still going. This room looks so beautiful. I literally want to dive into this scene. Oh, I can see some gorgeous samples there because we have got boxes on the show that you can obviously cover with some gorgeous papers. I love that gold theme you've got going on there. Yes, this is a combination of three kits. Here we have a combination of the kits with the paws, with the glass pearl. And then we have a kit with the um, uh, copper metal paint and the glitter paste and the heavy body gel. And we have a wonderful kit with uh, paper boxes. Amazing. With round paper boxes and square paper boxes. And here you see the metal feet too. <laughs> oh, yes. In fact, speaking of that, I've got a lovely little box here. Look at this. So we do obviously have some samples in uh, the studio. That's beautiful. What we're showing here are the clear and gold pearls. They're 12.99 we are 30 percent of the stock gone 160250 so blanche um would you like to um talk us through our, oh we can still carry on if you like do you want to show us more yes here here we can show you the combination of the travel paper kit and you see the the travel paper kit with the one day special in this travel paper kit, you get 15 double-sided papers, you get 15 centerpieces. Here on the centerpieces are the, the center like this one, and this comes all from the travel paper kit. And on top in this travel paper kit, you get 70 laser cuts. Wow, in fact... And we have more samples here on this side, you can see more. Oh yes, we're having a little look here. That's yes, if you see all these, all these wonderful laser cuts, there are luggage and uh, 
some uh, Victorian person, old maps, everything are inside of the kit. Uh, old timers, old old uh, cars, and you have these wonderful papers. Wow, it looks so vintage, so oldy worldy. I love again these samples. Um, we can have a quick flash, actually, of the paper kit, if you like. Yes, yeah, sure. There it is. Uh, but then, if you, we want to go back to you. Uh, see. Yeah, yes. Yes, here you see, you get one sheet with the centerpieces. Oh, sorry, I, I, <laughs> I look to you. Now, That's all right. here you. Is it? No problem. You, you shown, you shown us. The paper kit. These are 15 papers, double-sided printed. You get the center pieces. You, you yes. Now, and you, you get the large sheet with the smaller center pieces. It's on specialty stamping paper. You get these tags in front of you, and you get a bundle, 70 single laser cut. Wow! And I've got the board here, Blanche, as well that I can show amazing 70 pieces as you said Blanche look at the detail again it's about going back in time I have to say I love all, all of their dresses the gentleman looks so dapper uh, you can see the travel element there because you can see the suitcases there's the trains the wonderful vintage cars absolutely beautiful there you go. and I think it's sorry and I think it's a good combination you can work uh, if you like steampunk it's it's matching to steampunk theme and yes. to the trap theme because of the hot air balloons and the trains and everything you can work for steampunk with these kids too i love that idea so you're getting as you said 15 sheets of the 12 by 12 um 10 different designs and three of each which uh, i've got here there we go and they're double-sided aren't they blanche Yes, are all double-sided printed. You have the larger image on on the front for scrapbooking or like these, and mostly on the back side you have a pattern that you can cut in the, all the sizes you want. Marvelous! Again, we're transported back in time. I love that you've even put borders down here, so we're not going to waste a single thing with these beautiful papers. Really great for your scrapbooking, of course. Yes, uh, small stands are on, on the bottom of the papers. <laughs> Beautiful, look at that. And then there's also the two A4 design sheets that I... Oh, have I got the two? Oh, where's my second one? Oh, right, I see. No, got are the, these are the same design. You get two... Oh, there's one design, but you get, get two of these. Right, there you go. Uh, let's have a look at the one that's in my hand. There you are. Uh, I'll just tilt that forward slightly. I love these. You can cut them up. You can distress them. Um, beautiful. Yes. And they match perfectly in the smaller frame from the ODS. <laughs> ah, excellent. There you go. So it all ties in. And uh, there you go. And then very quickly, you get these lovely, beautiful strips here. 15 yes, sheets of these. Yes. These are the centerpieces, and there are the sightseeing from from Italy. From there's a lot of Paris, old old paint, uh, oil paintings are inside, and uh, maps. Excellent. So for this whole collection, it's just 19.99. Item number is uh, 458580. Now I saw. Uh, as some of your that lovely gold collection that you were yes. using these paper boxes here yes yes uh, here we use these this is a wonderful kit because this is a perfect square sizes and uh, round sizes boxes they they fit all uh, in one box if if you get these and you can use them the smaller pieces look here i like the very small piece like this one it's, it's nice. This is the smallest from the square, and this is the smallest from the round. 
And I've actually got the small one here so you can see how you're going to decorate it up. She says, let's open this up. See, this is going to be nice for, oh, it's got a nice sturdy lid. <laughs> or it's just that I'm no. extremely weak. Sorry, Blanche. Perhaps it, it, it sticks together. <laughs> Normally it's, it's, it's easy to open. <laughs> it is easy. It's just me. It's just me. Um, now for these, they're over 50% of the stock gone. Trust me, Blanche. Trust me. Uh, yeah, so 50% of the stock gone. It is 14 99 item number is 273702 i promise they're easy to open it's just me right then um we have also got and i love this medium blanche the yes. crackle paste the cracking paste yeah the cracking paste this is a medium you can work with the, our stencil paste we offer the stencil paste too this is a wide no no that's not this you see on the box yeah on this box you have the crackle varnish but this is a crackle paste oh we offer. apologies this is, then. This is, this, yes it's a, this is a wrong sample the cracking paste stays white when it's dry but it, it becomes small crackle right and you, yes it, you can use this with a primer yeah uh, when you use this with the primer uh, the cracking paste is, stays on every surface do but you if you use it without the primer, you can work on on um, different surface. But um, uh, uh, yes, now you can uh, you can see it perfectly. I think so. Yeah. Thank you, Blanche. Thanks for th thank you. Sorry, we've got the wrong sample. It's good to see what we've got there. There you go. I'm going to put this sample to one side, like so. Um, right. So if you want to go for these. 1099 item number is 710382 now next we've got the um lovely fine gold fine glitter paste the yes. bronze metallic acrylic paint and you've also got the um, 100 mils of heavy body gel we've got here i love this set they're beautiful oh look at this sample yes this is a perfect kit because you have here you have this wonderful glitter it's a re really fine gold glitter and you have the cup paint the paint uh, covers perfectly any surface this is behind glass what you see here this is uh, with, made with our flexi stencil you 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 work with the flexi stencil from the other from the back side of the glass plate and here these samples here on the side you see the, all these pearls here and the pearls you apply with a heavy body gel as a glue. Wonderful. I've got a nice little sample here as well. But we'll... There you go. Lovely. And then coming back to you. Gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that. Nice stuff. Now, um, we believe we, we've got some of the lovely antique feet back on extended delivery. But already of the restock stock, we are approaching 20% gone there. Have you got any lovely samples with these on, Blanche? Yes, sure. We have this. Sure. We have, I have my, some of my boxes in my hand. And here you get four different sizes. And this is one size I want to show you. And I think it's a really a big difference if you have a box without feet or you have these wonderful metal feet it looks professional and it looks really like you bought it in a very expensive store beautiful so you're going to get a lovely bag like this absolutely full of these lovely little feet they are gorgeous now just a reminder again that um it's going to be delivered from the 26th of November because it's on that extended delivery there. 11.99 for the feet, 708002. Uh, then I believe we have got the decoupage kit coming up next. We've got 12 sheets here, four designs. Lovely stuff. Uh, we've got some, there you go. Finish samples over to you. Yes, yes. Here we uh, work with the French label decoupage kit on boxes behind glass, this is glass way, and work behind the glass way. Uh, you have these, these paper sheets are like collage. It's just like collage. And you can cut out 
areas sheets like here or you use them as a sheet as a, by your own behind the cast play. But you have one wonderful sheet with butterfly in this kit. Yes. And here on this side you see the butterflies on glass base are like these. Mm -hmm. You cut them out, put them on a sheet of metal and then you can bend them. Then they are flexible and they look really like butterflies. They do indeed love these. We're approaching 30% of the stock gone. It's 16.99, Now we've also got some more moulds, absolutely stunning moulds. And again, we've got a few samples here, but I'm sure you've got some samples out there. So these are the actual moulds. There you go. Yes, yes. Here in this, uh, this kit, you get small angels. I like these angels very much, very small angels. You get these... Uh, small French style and small ornaments. This, the difference between this kit and our one day special, these ornaments are very thin. And you can use it very thin and very small. And you can use them perfectly on greeting cards. If you work on greeting cards or if you want to decorate really small things like these eggs or smaller boxes, uh, these are really perfect for this because you have these wonderful, very small, intricate girls in this kit. Ah, they're absolutely divine. Look at these. All right. And then. the wall, I like the wall too. Oh, good. I'm, I'm pleased. <laughs> uh, right, 19.99. Item number is 436.179. A third of the stock of these molds have gone. Right, and then we've got, oh, I just literally, I want to bathe in these beads. They are just <laughs> divine. Um, so you've got the clear um, and two tones of gold, but they shimmer absolutely exquisitely, don't they, Blanche? Yes, yes. And this is a really a uh, big theme this Christmas. If you look, all the Christmas bubbles or all these decorations uh, this year are full with beads. And I like these, these shimmer, these, um, the surface from this, the beads. And here you see we cover the lids of the boxes, yes. We cover the, the, uh, the stars, the wooden stars. This wooden stars we will offer on, uh, offer on Wednesday. And it looks really luxurious. Also, if you work only on a thin stripe, like on the glass box. Oh, oh, I love that star that lights up. That's divine. This all looks so expensive. It's just wonderful. Imagine what you'd pay in a shop if you were buying all of this. But of course, we've got the opportunity to purchase these lovely goodies and make at home. Now, in terms of our lovely beads, um, pearls, sorry, pearls, um, we are approaching a third of the stock gone, 12 160 Now, I know that you want to see Blanche in action now, so we're going to go to the website there's loads more you can shop by brand um, there you go um, so you can shop by brand we have got shrink foils paper flowers uh, flexi stencils are there oh I love those borders they're wonderful oh now these are brand new I hadn't seen these these are the mixed media liquids um, I believe Blanche you used these uh, last hour and then we've got some uh, some more mediums Marvellous. Oh, and we've got Seven Day Saver too, that, which is jolly marvellous. Right then, without further ado, Blanche, um, a, a reminder that Blanche is live on Skype. Uh, I can't wait to see your demos. Let's go. Okay. Um, here I have a layout. The, the paper here is from the travel paper kit. And this is one of our eight flexi stencils. I now use the flexi stencil and I stick it on the paper and I work now with a cracking paste without the primer only with a cracking paste. I take a spatula and then I go over these lines. Nice. Uh, and of course we can see you're working on the flexi stencils which are brilliant because they can go around glass. 
Yes, they, they are sticky or self-adhesive, and you can clean this perfectly, put them back to the foil, and then you can, can clean this uh, on water, Underwater, not on board. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we're approaching 30% um, of the stent, flexi stencils gone. They're at the bottom of the screen. Yes, you can work like this, but please uh, hold you the foil, put them back on the foil, and then yeah, now you can wash these. Right. The, the, the crackle paste uh, gets or becomes crackle when they dry. You can. Uh, Speeding it up with a uh, hair dryer or with our heat tool, but now I let it dry by air. This is one of the six wooden plates you get uh, in the one day special. Yep. And this is one piece of paper from the trap paper kit. And these are, uh, this is, I will show these. This is this mode. This uh -huh. is one of the modes you get in the one day special. And I think you can see it's a seamless pattern because if you now, this is two times. Ah. And so seamless pattern, you can expand them how often you like. Wow, you could go around your whole house then. <laughs> yes, yeah. if you like, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I start and um, I pick these here. And uh, to all the back to the molds. Uh, these molds you can work with resin if you like. You can work with uh, air dry, like like party with the air dry clay if you like. But you can uh, work with non clay too, because you, there are no so thin or so integrate uh, motifs that you can't work with uh, with other materials. Right. Okay. And I think one on this side, like me. And then I will put these on this side. For the 3D dimension, I, I work, uh, used to work with air dry clay. I like this very much because you get this wonderful 3D dimension. I put it like this. Yeah. And for, for, for a glue, I used the heavy body gel. Uh -huh. The heavy body gel is in the kit with a metal, with a metal color and the um, golden glitter paste. Lovely. We just put the details on screen for that kit. Eleven ninety nine seven eight zero three three two. This is a perfect glue for metal, for glass, for paper. I think for everything. You can make so many things with a heavy body chair. <laughs> yeah, and um, actually that kit is appro approaching 80% of the stock. Oh, sorry, 70% of the stock gone. Okay. <laughs> I start to hurry a little bit. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. Can... Okay, now I do this. Um, these these molds, uh, I work with a, with a gray tone resin here inside, and... Uh, the color here on top, it's one layer, I will show it quickly, mm -hmm. uh, one layer of white jasp or white acrylic paint. And then I take our mixed media liquid. The mixed media liquids are really um, high pigmented, mm -hmm. but this is a high glossy transparent paint. You will see these now. It's only a drop. And then I go here over these form or ornament. Yeah. I will spray a little bit water over this. And you can see it goes directly into the depth of this. Yes, it's really soaked in now. Yes, and it looks the the... the the ornament comes through now. You mm. see more of the ornament. Definitely. Okay. Now it, it will dry. I, later I will show a little bit more about these paints. These paints are really wonderful mixed media paints. Okay. This is the, the uh, kind I work with these, with these here. Or I color these. Oh, uh, yes. 
Um, I love you. I always say this. I love the way you compose your your gorgeous works of art. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is one.